Hello and welcome to Blobber and Miss Mori. Hello. Hello. We're going to be playing through Laura Bow 1, The Colonel's Bequest. This is interesting in that it's one of the very first games with a female protagonist. If you ignore Mrs. Pac-Man and Kangaroo <clears throat> and some Japanese game that never got an English release, it is apparently like the first other than one other Sierra game to have a female protagonist, which is kind of an interesting historical tidbit. Anyway, can you, you, you watching on here or do you want me to, uh, well, what's the, what's the fingerprint, Maury? We any idea? Am I gonna look uh, up? The fingerprint belongs to Rudolf Dijon. Rudolf Dijon. So we'll just show you what happens if you get it wrong. Remembering that she said Rudolf. If we pick the wrong person. Oh, I'm sorry. This performance is sold out. Forced game closure. Game closes. <gasps> And this way we also get to see the opening title, which we didn't see before, so... A Sierra production. Version 1000.0046. Alright. Using your magnifying glass and the back of the map enclosed in your Colonel's Bequest box, Please identify the following fingerprint. 89A, yes, Finboy. It's a game that is almost but not quite as old as Blobber himself. So it doesn't quite remember when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. Almost but not quite. Mm. What do I think it looks like? That is still Colonel Henry Deshawn. It's his other fingerprint, or it's the... Yeah, the okay. one in the top right, on the manual. Ah, yeah, it is that it's, one. It's, Colonel it's Dijon. It's similar to Laura Bow's one, but there's a slight V on the side there. Alright. The curtain is about to go up. Please be seated. we will just... <clears throat> No! There we go. Have you previously attended a performance of the Colonel's Bequest? And we say no. And we get the opening cutscene. A will! Colonel? Het mm, something? Dijon. Got our little dagger cursor. All right, the Colonel's bequest. Act one. Lord, we ask thee that through this town to be our guide. No, Lord, we ask thee to be our guide that through this town no foot may slide. And then ding, 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 ding. It's seven o'clock. Now this is familiar to me because they use this same time mechanic in Laura Bow 2. But they do it a bit quicker. They do it a fair bit quicker in two. This is the guest room that you share with Lillian. She's your friend. Though a bit tired looking, it seems comfortable enough. The basic backstory here is that you are the friend of Lillian. You are Laura Bow, aspiring detective. She is a member of a somewhat rich family. And all the members of the rich family have been summoned back to this manor house in the bayou to uh, presumably be told by old dying man who he's going to give everything to. So 
I wasn't aware that the acts that stood in the manual were actually before the game started. <laughs> the acts? Yes, if you look in the manual, Act 1, Scene 1, there's lines and dialogue of what happens before this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's off-screen stuff, but... It's mostly just like, hello, welcome to the, welcome to the, um, welcome to this house. Go to your room, the end. Dear Laura, please excuse me, I'm going to freshen up in the bathroom. Why don't you explore? The games that came out before this in this same sort of vague genre, you could think of like Zork is a very popular and well-known one. Hmm, something doesn't feel right. Everyone's acting too strange, even Lillian. Why, what would dad do in this situation? And then she remembers Dad. Honey, if things don't feel right, they probably aren't. Observe the situation closely, yet unobtrusively. Explore your surroundings quietly and carefully. Try to question the others without raising suspicion. Notice the small details. Take lots of notes. You hear this, Maury? We need to know who was where what. So, uh, totally be breaking out your notepad and noting down who's in what area at what times. We're at seven at the moment. <clears throat> Laura Bow is not a character in other books. She's she's sort of Southern Bell knockoff um Southern Bell knockoff earlier Nancy Drew. Let's let's be honest, but she's also a bit older and a little bit different. Uh, and above all be careful. Now as I was saying this compared to earlier games like Zork, oh, it's not going to let me just say my spiel. Since we never go anywhere without your trusty notebook and pencil, you go to your suitcase. Open it and remove these two items. Your father is correct. Observing the situation and taking notes would, in capitals, be a good idea. Okay, so earlier games like Zork, you wouldn't have a graphical screen like this. You would just have a text interface, like a command line, and you'd, you'd type things and it would respond. This is at something of a midpoint where we can say... Uh, open suitcase. You see the clothes you packed for the weekend. Or you can, like, look at room. Look at room. This is the guest room you share with Lillian. Uh, what else could we like? We could look at painting. Look at painting. Above the fireplace, you notice a picture of Colonel Dijon in his younger, more vital days. On the opposite wall, you see a picture of a little girl. Funnily, the girl's eyes have a strange, hollow look to them. So on this wall's the Colonel. On the wall that we're looking through, because we're, we've got x-ray vision, we can see through this wall, there's another painting that she says looks like it has odd eyes. And what do, what do odd eyes mean in any murder house? They, of course, mean that people have got to look through them, right? They're a peep, peephole. Peak hole. How could they not be? So, yes. Our basic things are like push, pull, talk, show. Um, we also have tell. And that's interesting. And we have ask. These are the standard verbs that the manual will tell you to use, and so you have to use them in combination with people. So, for example, we could waddle into the other room. Try and waddle into the other room. It looks as if this might have been a nursery once upon a time. Now it has been converted into a guest room with Ethel as its current guest. And so we can, like, ask Ethel... about Lillian. Lillian and I have had our ups and downs over the years, like any mother and daughter. And we can literally ask every character about every other character in the game. <clears throat> and you're kind of expected to do this. Let me open the suitcase. It's locked. Can we look around? No, we already looked around, didn't we? Uh, can we look at the dollhouse? 
Now, one thing that this does weirdly is you don't hold to move. Like, the reason if I hold left like this and I stutter step, it's because the game expects you to tap the left button. Please stop stuttering. Yeah, now it works normally. If you tap the direction button once, you walk that way until you tap the direction button again to stop moving, which is... It's not quite tank controls, but it's a very different way of controlling how you move to what we're used to in the modern day and age. Look at dollhouse. It's a wonderful old dollhouse. Thank you, pizza. But you'd better leave it alone. There's a teddy bear in the corner. Look at bear. There are some old toys left over from many years ago. Look at shelves. You see several old toys on the dusty shelves. Can we go inspect the cupboard? Open cupboard. The armoire is empty. Oh, I'm sorry. Blobber is an uncouth swine. Saying cupboard instead of armoire. This is a fancy house. It is a very fancy house. There's probably some chaise longes instead of sofas. Or couches. So to the right we've but got a bathroom. But the chaise longes is completely different from a sofa. It's shaped different. <laughs> you sit on them both. Um, this is the back upstairs hallway of the mansion. Look at room. Okay. Well, that tile looks odd. Look at floor. You notice deep scuff marks on the floor near the two armoires. Well, we need Southern Gentleman Blobber today. Can we open cupboard? Oh no, what was it? Armoire. How the hell do you spell that? Nothing important is in there. And if there's scuff marks... Maybe we can push or pull it? Push... Armoire? You pull on the armoire. Surprise, you find the whole armoire opens to reveal... A secret door. You found a small hidden room. Uh, look at painting. You don't see any pictures. Uh, look in eyes or at eyes. Oh, not use. Look at eyes. Nothing special. Okay, what about this side? Nothing special. Is it through eyes? Doesn't understand through. Look in eyes. Try facing the set of holes. Okay, so I had to be facing this way. In eyes. Oh! There is nothing of interest... In Rudy, oh, I spelt three wrong. Okay, let's try the other three. Uh, look through eyes. Ah, there we go. So Blobber can't spell. And what if we look in the other room? Ho ho! Gertie doesn't deserve Henry of any of Henry's money. She's not even a blood relative. What are you going to do about it, mother? Well, I can certainly talk to Henry about her and those two brats. You never change, do you, mother? Never mind, Lillian. You and I will never agree on anything. Drinking cola or coffee? Some brown liquid. Okay. Uh, is there anything to the right?
9. So we get some info on eh, lady number one, old lady blood relative of the colonels. Look at vase. A lovely vase rests atop a marble pedestal. Is this a kitty cat? Look at cat. A beautiful porcelain cat sits elegantly on a marble pedestal. Now, if that armoire opens, do we want to bet if the other one opens? Open armoire. No. Push armoire. You pull on the armoire. You find that the whole armoire opens to reveal a secret door. What if we use a door? Uh, open door? Oh no! There's somebody in the room! <laughs> Uh, this is also a Sierra game, so we will be definitely saving and saving often. Alright. Look through eyes. There's nothing of interest in Gertie and Gloria's room. Okay, what about the other way? Look through eyes. Okay, so here's old man Hen- Oh, and now it's 7.15. We've passed some time. Oh, mon ami, I find it difficult to refuse you. I am so attracted to you, says the maid lady. Well, I was quite the blade in my younger days, says the colonel. Ooh la la, I can tell, Henry. I can tell. Ah, uh, Fifi, my dear, I do appreciate you, but you'd better leave now before we're noticed. If you say so, Henry, au revoir, mon chéri. Okay. So, old man who is dying and summoned everyone to work out how to divide his will is diddling the maid, it would seem. This elegant room must be the Colonel's. You notice an elevator. Can I go in the elevator? Open elevator? Stay out of my elevator. <laughs> uh, ask Henry about Lillian. Oh, it's with an I. Ask Henry about Lillian. Go find Lillian. Ask Henry about Ethel. My sister is none of your concern. Okay, so he seems like a very grumpy old man. Can we go through the door on the other side of the room? Is there anything else you would like to inspect in here, Lil um, Maury? Um, I haven't even had the chance to look because I'm busy drawing maps. <laughs> ah, okay, fair enough. Look at fireplace. This fine, this finely crafted fireplaces show the craftsmanship of bygone days. Up, left, down, left. It doesn't appear that this room has been used in a long time currently seems to be the guest room of Dr. Wilbur C. Fields. So this is the, um, the old man's personal private live-in doctor. Let me open the open case. You can't do that. Open box. The crates are tightly sealed. Besides, there's nothing that you would want in them. Ah. Uh. 
open pouch you don't have it take pouch you don't see it here maybe it's in a different room hmm yes single click to move take a cannon can we open no maybe we can't interact with that cupboard it's it's too far back in the plane of the the room and we're not allowed there open cupboard there is nothing of interest in the armoire Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything in here of interest, at least at the moment. Maybe later the doctor comes back. Is there any difference between look and examine room? Uh, yeah, we can test that. Look at room. It doesn't appear this room, blah blah blah. However, currently guest of the guy. An examine room. No, it returns the same thing, at least for this. We can test it on a couple okay. more things, but it looks like it's... Synonyms for look might do the same thing as look. There's no, uh... Open AI <laughs> interpreting the text back in this day and age. Actually, let's look at the statues. Two Greek statues guard both sides of the bathroom door. Wait, this is a bathroom? Ah, this is a bathroom. A modern bathroom has been installed in this old house. I thought this went out to the backyard. Look at bath. A claw-footed bathtub with shower. Ah, uh, look at seat. You notice two lovely seats under the large windows. Can we open the medicine cabinet and be snoopy? Open medicine cabinet. There's nothing you need inside the linen cabinet. Okay, there's only a linen cabinet. Can we go use tap? There's no need to use that. Okay, so this also doesn't look like there's anything here. Unless we can maybe pick Anything up... in the bin? Oh, look in bin. Look in waste paper basket. It's currently empty. Really? It knows waste paper basket and not bin. Yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate that because I like waste paper basket more than bin. Sound unnecessarily gentrified. Uh, what else is in here? Lamps. Look at lamp. You see some kerosene lamps. It seems as if the Colonel is too stingy to put in electric lights. This is the front upstairs hallway of the plantation house. A grand stairway leads down to the lower level. Mm, that, that chandelier is um, hovering ominously and it's a Sierra game. So I will... Ah. Come on, give me my... Save. Okay, it did, but it just didn't name it what I wanted. That's fine. <clears throat> we'll see if the chandelier doesn't crush us. It is a Sierra game. Watch out! We managed to fall off the, um... The well, stair you balcony. Didn't die for the chandelier. I didn't die from the chandelier, in fairness. It's not a pretty sight. Restore. Okay, so don't walk too close to the edge of this. Can we... Stop. Look at chandelier? How do you spell it? Look at... Chandel. Oh, I'm gonna actually have to look something up. Chandel ear. How do you spell it? Okay, it's got an I in it. Chandel ear. 
A huge crystal chandelier hangs precariously above the downstairs foyer. Precariously, perhaps ominously. Let's try not... Can we open this door? Open door. It's an empty closet. Okay, what about the other side? There's also still all the other guest rooms on this side. Uh, yes, there is. Sure, we'll do those first before we progress further. So, eh, eh, eh. So there's this room. This room appears that Rudy and Clarence are sharing. So that is the... So the... The rich old man had a had a brother. The brother had a wife. The wife is dead, and that oh sorry, the hus the the brother is dead, but the wife is alive, and that wife has several kids by the brother, as well as the rich man. Or rich old man has the sister, which is the mum of our friend and the the other people that we've already met. So I think this is the other niece and nephew and. Niece, nephew, slash boyfriend thereof. Uh, open. Uh, no. No? No, this is the colonel's nephew and uh, the colonel's attorney. Oh, the attorney. Like, oh, yeah, boys and girls wouldn't share. Yep, okay. No funny business. Boys and girls are not allowed to share rooms. Sure. Sure. What else we got? Open desk. Look at desk. You see, you notice a small writing desk against the right-hand wall. Mm, open drawers. Nothing of interest is in the dresser. And what about the suitcases? They're locked. Okay. And then on the other side. This is a cozy guest room where Gloria and Gertie are sharing. And there's the horse picture that we were looking through earlier when we were told there's nothing of interesting happening in here. Open suitcase. It's locked. What about the cupboard? You can't do that. Look. At cupboard. You see nothing special. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anyone here or anything interesting unless the plant is interesting. A potted plant graces the top of the small table. Now we can do upstairs if we can manage to not fall off the balcony. Open door. It's locked. Okay, what about in here? This room is Fifi's room. Although her room is in the attic, she's fixed it up nicely. Open of it. There's nothing in there. Mm. What would that be called? Use gramophone? Doesn't understand gramophone. Use record player? You don't have it. Take record player. The record doesn't belong to you. Okay. Look at paintings. A picture is a picture, and you see nothing of interest. Look at sofa. Most of the sofas look old, dusty, and uncomfortable. Uh... What's, what's, what the hell is this? Look at floor. You notice a pile of clothes on the floor. Okay, so that's like a changing room. Look at floor. 
Yeah, okay. So there's a changing room and it's got clothes in there. And you take the clothes? Seemingly? Let's see. Uh, take clothes. They're not your clothes. Don't touch it. You don't know where it's been. All right. What else have we got? Down. Did you the check the makeup table? I did. I did not. We can we can do that certainly. Back up. I did try. I think desk or drawers or something. Uh. So. You have to be near things to use them sometimes, which is why I'm waddling over to them. Uh, look at make-up table. Try that one again. Look at mirror. Um, the oval-framed mirror is attached. Ah, vanity. Vanity. Mm, look at vanity. Fifi has a little vanity by the bed. Open vanity. You don't need to go into Fifi's private things. So once again, don't touch it. You don't know where it's been. This is the front downstairs hallway of the big house. A grand stairway leads upstairs. Suit of armor. Look at armor. Ooh, we get a different screen. A very old suit of armor with one gloved hand holding a battle axe. It stands beside the stairway. Although it's well polished, all of its joints are completely rusted. Take axe. The axe is firmly attached to the armor. Take armor? You couldn't move this heavy armor. All right. This is the back downstairs hallway of the big house. Double French doors lead out back. Oh, I missed some doors. Okay, so we'll do the left. You have found the Colonel's billiard room. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would enjoy playing billiards or listening to records on the Victrola. Okay, so I'm going to have to note that down myself. Uh, Victrola, because else I'll get the spelling wrong. Victrola is the word they want for record player or gramophone. Or the player piano. Oh. And now it's half seven. So not really very much has happened in those first two time intervals. I suppose we did see that the um, rich old man is diddling the maid. Quiet, we're not alone anymore. Okay, so they, they want to talk and there is a painting. I guess the implication is we should go spy on them from the secret room sort of thing. Let's see that. Uh, look at instruments. You note several musical instruments hanging on the wall. Can we use the piano? Use piano. You don't have it. Look at piano. I think play will work if it, you can use it. Play piano. You never learned to play the piano. But there is a winding mechanism. Oh, come on. Wind piano. Oh! The entertainer? Do 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 and look, even the little keys animate. You can tell which keys it's in theory pressing. Oh, that is. That is charming. Wait, we can just walk away? We can just walk away and now this is how the room is. How do we make it stop? 
<laughs> Can we play billiards? Stop piano? It's not clear. What if we say wind piano again? Uh, oh, I spelled it wrong. Oh, but it does end after a while. Okay. Play billions? Yeah, sure. Play pool? Although your father is an excellent billiards player, you've never learnt the game. And what was this thing called? A Victrola. Play Victrola. You don't have a record. And we couldn't steal the record from the other room. Open cupboard. I'm not close enough. I'm sorry. Oh. I've accidentally left the room. This is the southwest corner of the mansion, right outside the billiard room. It's really creepy and dark out here. You shiver at the thought of venturing outside alone. Perhaps you ought to go back inside. I agree, we haven't finished exploring the inside yet. You feel better now that you're back in the house. That was scary out there. Ugh, this place is so creepy, and now she's here again. Can we look at the boat? Look at ship. You notice a model of an old ship on the table. And I don't think there's anything else especially interesting. Maybe the pool cues? Please let me around you, lady. Look at cue. There are billiard cues in a rack on the wall. Okay. So there's three of them. Maybe maybe someone is murdered with a billiard cue later, if we notice that there's only two. Now, in the last room it was armoires, but it was implied that we should snoop on these guys. So can we pull clock? You pull the grandfather clock, and to your surprise, there's a whole secret door behind there. We'll do our look through eyes. Not through use. What a skinflint Uncle Henry is. Ugh, what I could do with his money, though. How rich is he, darling? Don't know for sure, at least a couple of mil. If he's so rich, why doesn't he keep this place up better? It's such a dump. The old miser wouldn't part with a penny if he could help it. I wonder if Fifi's getting any of his money, though. I bet she's trying to anyway. Why, she practically has him round, wound around her little finger. Darling, it's disgusting. Speaking of disgusting, what are you going to do about Clarence? So that's the boyfriend that she's currently seeing. Oh, him? I've decided to break up with him. I have a new beau, a director no less. He's such a doll. So these two are the niece and nephew of the current... current old man by the, uh... the dead brother. Oh, darling, that reminds me. Remember that little medical problem I had? I don't trust Wilbur to keep it quiet. It could ruin my career if it got out. I've got to talk to him. You do that, my dear sister. As for me, I'm going to retire to my room for a while. Kiss, kiss. Okay, and what about the other side? Look through, uh, through eyes. Eyes. A doctor is alone reading a magazine. And we probably want to get to him before Gloria does. Okay. We'll go check out his room. This is the library. You see many books and various and sundry topics displayed in the bookcases. Tucked into one wall, you notice an elevator shaft. So this presumably goes up to, um, old man's room. 
And he's in a wheelchair, so it kind of makes sense that he has an elevator to bypass the otherwise set of stairs. Oh, and Gloria's here. I want to warn you, Wilbur, don't you dare go spilling the beans on me. I wouldn't do a thing like that, sweet pea. My little medical problem was my business and nobody else's. See to it that you keep quiet. Sure thing, whatever you say. Fine. So she has motive for killing the doctor, maybe, to keep her secret. The hell? That thing looks like a horse. Look at horse. Look at mirror. You see a dusty old mirror hanging on the... Look at fireplace. Yeah, yeah, same as the other fireplace. Hmm... Mantle? Mantle? Ooh, good one. Look at mantle. Oh, very well done. Various objects and knickknacks are displayed on the fireplace mantle. None of them interest you, though. Look at bookshelf. The bookcases are crammed full of books. Okay, and now we get one of our first ability to talk to people about everyone. So, uh, talk to Doctor about Henry. Ah, so you're Lillian's friend. Laura, is it? You look very nice. Very nice indeed. <laughs> you dirty old man. Uh... Talk to Doctor about Gloria? My dear, come a little closer. I don't hear well. Not on your life. Okay, so he's just creepy old man. Doesn't actually tell us anything. He just tries to get us to come and sit and stand closer to him. Open drawer. Nothing is of interest. This appears to be the Colonel's study, as a large desk dominates the room. Upon the desk you notice a small glass case. At the back of the room, two large cabinets also catch your attention. Oh, and the maid is in here. Doing some dusting. Look at case. You look... At the small glass case and notice a silver derringer mounted upon blue velvet backing. Look at spears. Two African spears hang crossed above the fireplace. Look at rhino. A huge rhino head hangs above the fireplace. Two African spears cross beneath it. Look at Raven. And the Raven ever sitting. Still is sitting, still is sitting. Oh, it's not called Raven. Look at Bird. That's a stuffed eagle on top one of the cabinets. Open cabinet. You open the cabinet. And look inside. Stored within is the Colonel's rifle collection. What about the other one? Is it a whiskey case? It feels like a... It, it, it somehow feels like it's a... A drinks cabinet. Open cupboard. You peek inside. It's part of the Colonel's weapon collection. Okay. You see an Australian boomerang. A steel cutlass. A pearl-handled dagger, a mace, and an antique crossbow. We take this crossbow. You wouldn't know how to use it. And what if we talk to Fifi? Uh, talk to Fifi about Henry. 
She doesn't have time for idle chit chat. She's busy cleaning the room. And does this go outside? Uh, could you go back to the weapon cabinet? Are you still? Yeah. There is another exit to the house on this side, but we will totally go back into that other room. We haven't finished exploring the house. So this weapon cabinet, the alligator? Yeah, well, the one with the alligator. Well, no, it's America. They're all alligators, then another crocodiles. Um, look at, let's just see what crocodile does. Croc returns alligator. You see a stuffed alligator on top of the cabinet. What is an Australian boomerang? It's essentially an L-shaped bit of wood anti air that you throw at things. Think of yeah, it I need like the rest a throwing of the weapons. Mess. Oh, sorry. So there was the crossbow and mace that we were told about. There's these spears. The rifle, the derringer, and... Oh, you want to look? try and look at... Yeah, I, I, I know the down boomerang, steel cutlass, and then you moved. <laughs> sorry. Uh, so it was look... No, open cupboard. Uh, but you got to spell it right. Boomerang, steel cutlass, pearl handled dagger, a mace, and an antique crossbow. Let me know when you're good and I'm going to have a sip of yeah, water. Yeah, you're good. Mm. Okay. These we are could... not pretty notes, but they do the work. We could also try and open the desk. Look in desk. Nothing is in the desk. Look at globe. A large globe in the corner of the study. Okay, also not useful. But it's pretty, and it makes it feel like a, an actual study space. And her moving around and doing things is amazing. These people doing things is amazing. Up until now, you would have had just people sitting in a still room. And nothing, like at most maybe something like this fire animating. Okay, we've got the, well actually we didn't check out these cupboards. Open these cupboards. Nope, they're locked. We've got this one. You've entered the parlor of the mansion. Against the back wall, there's a sculpted marble bar. Holy moly. And in the corner, a parrot sings from its bird no, swings from its bird stand. Time advances. It's now quarter to eight. That old biddy. She's half sloshed most of the time. Shh. That young friend of Lillian's is here. Can we talk to the parrot? Oh, didn't want to go outside. That's my bad. No, let me go back. She's here again. Uh, talk. Come on. Talk to Parrot about Lillian. Polly want a cracker. We might have to find him some biscuits. Uh, we'll try one more thing just in case it changes. Ask Polly about Henry. You don't get any response. Let's go spy on these two, seeing as they won't say anything interesting while we're here. Presumably we can move this, whatever this is. What is this? Look at room. Double French dot, what is it? Pull. Mirror? Mm, mirror, okay. Pull, mirror. You push on the oval mirror and to your astonishment, you find the mirror opens to reveal a secret room! Less astonishing at the fourth secret room, but... Look 
through eyes, not use. God. I've offered her a fair deal many times for the property along the river, but the old biddy won't sell. Soon she's going to force me into taking some sort of action. What could you possibly want with the swampy land anyway? It's no good for anyone. He puffs on his cigar. Little do you know, Gertie, my dear. Let's just say that I happen to know it's worth a great deal, and I have several rich potential investors who would back me up on my plan to exploit, I mean, develop the land. Well, tell me. I've already said too much. You will probably go and blab everything to Ethel. Oh, the nerve. Well, if I were Ethel, I wouldn't sell you the land either. You're no better than a low-down snake in the grass. I don't know what my daughter sees in you. My affair with Gloria is none of your business. Besides, she doesn't care what you think. You're trying to exploit my daughter just like you're trying to exploit everyone else. Well, I've got the goods on you, mister. I know about your racehorse scam. If you don't watch your P's and Q's, I'm going to tell everyone about it. Try it, lady. And good day, Boyan. I've had enough of this. So Gloria's mum is arguing with the boyfriend and Gloria. Who's also the lawyer. Who is also the lawyer. Uh, look through eyes. Okay, nothing in that room. That means I could be able to use this door for once. Use door. Open door. The secret panel closes behind you and leaves no trace. This is a very elegant dining room. It looks like the Colonel has some class. Is that an urn? Look at urn. It's lovely, isn't it? Open cupboard. There's nothing of interest in the hutch. Oh, some of the other mirrors have actually, like, displayed us in their reflections, but this one does not. This old house has a nice big kitchen. Right now you see Seely, who is the, um, well, the housemaid. Um... Washing the dinner dishes whilst Beauregard... And I'm going to have to write that down because, good lord, I'm not going to be able to spell that. B-E-A-U. Regard. Has found a warm spot by the stove. It is an old Sierra Adventure Worm. We are playing Laura Bo One, the Colonel's Bequest. Pat. Dog. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and you actually pat the doggo, and he wags his tail. Uh, ask... Bo... Regard... About Henry. You don't get any response. I don't think the dog talks. <laughs> You have fond memories of paying King's Quest 1. Uh, take Kettle. You can't get it. Uh, open refrigerator? Open fridge? Open fridge? Doesn't understand fridge. Open re fridge rator? I might be spelling that wrong because I'm hopeless at spelling. Refrigerator. There we go. Open refrigerator. Aha! A leftover soup bone. It might come in handy. You grab it and take it with you. Oh, well, that sounds like I should save then. We've got a new item. Save. Save for. Can you give the bone to the dog? Okay. Give. Bone to 
dog. You give the bone to Beauregard, who eagerly begins to gnaw on it. And he animates it, it wiggles back and forth. Can I take the bone back? Will he get angry? Take bone. It doesn't look like he's going to stop chewing on it long enough for you to get it back. Uh, ask Seely about Henry. I ain't got nothing to say about him. Ask Seely about Lillian. I don't want to talk about her. Ask Seely about Fifi. She's just the maid, that's all. Ask Seely about Polly. Sometimes that there parrot says some interesting things. That doesn't look like she has much of use for us. Ask Seely about Gertie. Did I spell wrong? Ask Seely about Gertie. I don't know nothing about her. Okay. Ask Seely about Beauregard. Uh, except I need my little spelling cheat sheet. Bo, not no. Bo. Regard. He's just an old hound dog. Look at cupboard. The kitchen could use more cupboard space. I don't know what that is. It looks like it's potentially a butter churner. That's a butter churner. He ain't nothing but a hound dog. Yes. Uh, does that mean we've done all the rooms down here yet? Yes, Should be. Yeah. Okay. So we could also go do outside. Um, also, whenever time passes, we kind of have to go back and recheck everywhere because it can change. So, now that time has passed twice, we might need to go back and check the original rooms. Out the back, a garden path encircles a small statue and continues on through a lovely rose arbor. Good gosh, that is a huge... ...rose arbor. We'll start from the left. You see a rusted iron bell at the top of an old bell tower. A rope dangles within a short distance beneath the bell, while a ladder runs up to the tower's side. Behind a weathered fence, you also notice the remnants of the old plantation's fields. But we'll do this from the left outwards. As, as tempting as it is to try and ring the bell, At this end of the island, there is a small, quaint chapel. Behind it, you see an old family cemetery. Can we go in? This is the old plantation chapel. Above the pulpit, you see a beautiful stained glass window. Come on, how many more screens to the left can there possibly be? This is an old family graveyard behind the little chapel. Set among the various family graves and monuments, you notice two large tombs. Alright. Open tomb? Cautiously, you look inside. Currently, it's an empty tomb. One day, this will be the final resting place of Colonel Dijon. Ooh, and there's even lightning in the background. Look 
at graves. The graves and monuments belong to various members of the Crouton family, ranging from large monuments of patriarch Francois Crouton and his wife Claudette, to the simple grave of Sarah Crouton, who was 17 when she died in 1871. Yes, you have uh, Dijon as in mustard, you have croutons as in croutons for salad, you also have prunes. Uh, open tomb? The tomb is sealed and you can't enter it. So unless there's more to the left of here, I think we might finally be on the leftmost screen. Yes. So there was a tomb that's going to be his resting place, a tomb that we can't enter, there's lots of graves, but I don't think there's anything else here that I see that I'm interested in looking at. Yourself, Maury? Nope, not at the current time. Then we can begin our leftmost search to move rightwards. Oh. At the end of the island, there is a small quaint chapel. Behind you, you see an old family cemetery. Yes, that was the same as when we first entered this area for the first time. Now inside here... Look at window. You see a glorious, gorgeous stained glass window. Look at pulpit. There's nothing special about the pulpit. You are monu monumentally startled when a floorboard board sags slightly as you step upon it. Uh, yeah, we're going to make a save. <laughs> it's a Sierra game. They are not above just murdering you like we saw earlier. Look at Pew. You see four pews in this small church. It was honestly generous from the game to even bother to warn us. Yes. Look at statue. Each alcove shelters a small statue of a religious figure. Candelabra? Could something be hidden underneath the floorboard, though? Ah. So... Pull floorboard? I mean, we just look at floor. Yeah, we can look at floor to begin with. You notice some sagging floorboards. Pull... Floorboard. Although the floorboard is loose, you can't budge it with your bare hands. Bush floorboard? It's already closed. Jump on floorboard. That wouldn't accomplish anything. No, Mori has not played this before, Boyum. I have not played. This is this is something that neither of us have played. I've played number two. Of Laura Bow, the one that I got Baron to play, but I have never played this one. And I have no knowledge of the series at all. If we climb up here, can we ring bell? You need to pull on the rope to ring the bell. Take bell? You could never carry it around. Look at bell. And cheers, pizza. Dusty cobwebs cover the old bell that over the years has rusted in places. Oh yes, Baron's playthrough is great. Pull rope. You reach up and try to grab the rope and it animates us. Uh, but you are too short. The short rope is too high for you to reach. Hmm, you might have to get a foot ladder or a bucket and stand on it. 
Look at tree. Stately oak trees, Spanish moss dripping across across from their branches, surrounds the old mansion. Among the oaks, you also notice various other trees, some beautiful, some inexplicably bare. And there's no birdies. <laughs> oh wow, when you walk through the puddles, it even animates little footsteps in the puddles. You are standing at the west side of the circular gravel driveway, leading to the old plantation house. I didn't even know we could come here. Can we go further left? Yes! On the west corner of the island, you see an old, dilapidated stable. Oh no, not horses. Surrounded by an empty corral. Look I mean, at... you knew there would be one horse. Hey. Soggy bales of hay lie outside the stable door. Well, that's how you get colic. You don't let your hay get wet. Um... Oh. There is only one stall in this old stable, and there is an old broken down nag in the stall. You deduce that this must be Blaze. So Blaze is the Colonel's war horse. The Colonel took part in the Spanish-American War, and he was a cavalry colonel. And this is his ex-cavalry ex colonel horse, as I understand it. Can we take the saddle? Take tack. I forget if it's tack with a C or tack with a K. No, it might might be expecting the more common word. Take saddle. The saddle is very heavy. Besides, you've never been very fond of horseback riding. At horse. Oh, as you stroke Blazer's velvety, soft nose, his eyes open wide and his ears twitch uncontrollably. Ask Blaze about Henry. The horse doesn't understand you. Take tack. Take tack. Take bridle the bridle doesn't belong to you besides you've never okay so that counts as the same as the saddle and there doesn't appear to be a way up usually in the overhead loft is where you'd store hay not outside getting wet but whatever you're at the southwest edge of the bayou island the old road and fence have been overtaken by the rising swamp water. So there's no further to the left. You're walking along the south edge of the Bayou Island. An old road runs alongside the old plantation's front wrought iron fence. In the distance you see a carriage. Carriage house? Yeah, carriage house. Uh, open gate. You can't open or close it. Fair enough. At the south edge of the Bayou Island, an old road runs alongside the plant. No, we've seen this. That's the same. Oh, was... It was did that... walk past the playhouse at one point. Was this actually not the... I thought this was the house house. But maybe there's actually a separate house for carriages. Yeah. Okay. You've come upon a rundown carriage house. Old crates have been piled before one of the doors. For obvious reasons, it's not been used as a carriage house for some time. It's got all cracks all over it. Open door. Uh, 
Sorry. Okay, it just means walk into the door. You peer through the gloom of the old carriage house. Parts of the decrepit carriage lie in the right corner, and a small rowboat named Minnow rests in the left corner. Look at boat. A small rowboat named Minnow. Uh, take anchor. Take the oil. Yeah, there's a can of oil. Take anchor. How the hell are you? You have no use for an anchor. Take oil? You can't get to that, really. Can? Hmm. Mm. There we go. And we get a success noise. So now we have oil. We were told that the suit of armor is rusty. Rust plus oil equals maybe happy suit of armor. Yeah, that was just, uh, indeed rusty. So if you want to get the axe, you're probably going to need to oil it. Is that a squirrel? Oh, I have I... not played any of the Discworld games rest. I've just watched them in the marathon. I haven't played them either. Although we have upcoming soon um I own Ninja playing Discworld Noir. When he is back from his travels and available, I might be playing that say next next weekend, the equivalent of this, depending on What's a doing? Can we boost our walking speed? Faster. 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 Dun 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 dun. Use oil on armor. Which part of it would you like to oil? So let's look at the armor again. Oil gloved hand? Oil hand? Oh my god! It killed us! Oh well. It's a Sierra game. It will kill us mercilessly. So we've got to go grab the oil again. And I need to boost up our walking speed. And that's also a lesson that I should... Oh. Ramsackle little playhouse. Hanging from a nearby tree you see an old rope swing. I mean, we'll try and get back here, but for, for the moment, I want the, uh, the carriage house, please. Yeah, this. dun 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 Take. Oil. Take can. Very picky about. There we go. Take oil. Take can. There we go. Well, I think we'll inspect this playhouse before we go back. Oh, and there was a squirrel. Open door. Well, actually, you know what? <laughs> Let's uh, take our lesson about not having enough saves to heart. Save six. Open door. You attempt to open the playhouse, but discover that it is locked. Use swing. 
Ah! Uh, it drops us on our back side. How embarrassing. Little splashies on the water. Uh, so, suit of armor again. This time, hopefully not getting killed by... Maybe you have to do it from the other side of the armor? Maybe say right before you do it? Yeah, agreed. Use oil on hand. What? Use oil on... What did I say? I thought I said on hand. Oil hand? You're not close enough. I think it wants to only let you do it if it's somewhere where you can get murdered. Mm. Yep. <laughs> hmm. Can we take one of the cues and prop up the... No. Hmm. Would you like a drink? Asks the butler. No, no, thank you. And he wanders off. We still haven't explored the uh, right-hand side of the island or the back of the house. What a wonderful view of the old plantation house. From here you can almost imagine what it must have been like during its glory days. Look at the statue. The statue appears to resemble the colonel in full officer's regalia. So... A humble man who has a statue of himself outside his house. You are standing at the south edge of the Bayou Island, looking towards the great old plantation house. An old road runs alongside... Yeah, we had that. But now the, this gate is open. A weather-beaten dock extends from the island's edge out onto the alligator-infested Bayou. Towards the center of the island, you can see the old plantation house. Uh, how about we uh, slow down so I don't jump off the edge of the thing? Look at crates. Old crates are piled at the end of the dock. Take crates. They're heavy. Open crates. There is nothing you would want to carry. Can we get eaten by the alligator? I assume we get eaten by the alligator if we, like walk anywhere near the edge of the, the pier. You feel a dangerous undertow. The thick muck was too much for you. Okay, the alligator doesn't actually eat us. It's just... swampy. Can we walk along the outside of the gate? We can! Dun 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 Ooh! Please don't feed the animals! And the alligator burps. <laughs> that, that was a bit of a jump scare. Give me a sec, I'm getting a bit too dark. I'm gonna do the lights. Yeah. yeah. All right. 
Now I should remain well lit. So don't step outside of the fence. Uh, yeah, they don't want you going to the left, at least, on the fence. We haven't tried the right. I suspect we will be eaten by the alligator again, but... Doesn't appear to be anything there on the map, at least. Only the gazebo, but that's inside the fence. Oh, we're allowed to this corner without getting eaten by the alligator. <laughs> but it just leads nowhere other than to our death. Okay. So we'll go back inside the relative safety of the fence line. Continue exploring to the right. There's Flooding Swamp. There's a quaint gazebo that looks like it was once a nice spot for quiet reflecting. There's an odd looking place. It seems to be a private garden completely surrounded by a large hedge. Can we go to the right first? Because I'm going to explore. Misty bayou waters surround this old plantation. Cutting it off from the rest of the world. Better watch your step. And there's another... There's another couple of gators. He just moved closer to us. Do you eat us if we jump in the water? No, we just sink. Okay. And what about the hedge maze? It's not actually a hedge maze. This hedge garden is very strange. In the center you see a small fountain while a nearby statue looks it, perhaps at one time this was someone's place of quiet contemplation. It looks like there's a button there. Look at statue. A statue of a dancing nymph overlooks the fountain. So that's this, because it's got a... And it's facing away from us so we can't see the boobies. Press button. Uh, press switch. Maybe it's not actually a button. I, I assumed that thing there looked like a button to me. Inspect fountain. The fountain sits forlornly in the center of the garden. Uh, look at Nymph. Oh. Oh. A statue of a dancing nymph overlooks the fountain. What's this? You notice a small square shaft protruding from the base of the statue. It's called shaft. Press shaft. The metal shaft doesn't move. Pull shaft. The shaft doesn't move. Take shaft. The shaft cannot be taken. Lever shaft. Oil shaft. That won't help, it's not rusty. Um, any ideas, Mori? Did you try use? Use shaft. You don't have it. Mm. I tried all the things that I could think of. Push, pull, lever. Hmm. Okay, so there's a mystery here that we haven't solved. Maybe we, we get something else to extend the size of, the size of the lever. Oh. There's a well. Uh... Slow down, because I feel like we could totally walk into and fall down the well. That feels very Sierra. Hmm. 
No, it doesn't actually let you fall down the well, at least not immediately. Use well. Look at well. There is an old deep well just off the driveway. Use lever. Use crank. Pull crank. Crank lever. Use well. No, none of those seem to be but, anything. Could it be that you're not in the right position? It could be that I'm not in the right position. Uh, that feels like about as close to it as we can be. Mm. Bucket? No. At least not as far as I can tell. So this was the door from the kitchen? Yes. Oh. Look in doghouse. You peer into the dark interior of the doghouse and look around. It's empty. Open door? Open cellar? Yes, it's named cellar door. Cellar door? Look around. Uh, cellar cellar with space two door. Else. Okay. Open cellar. You're not close enough. Open cellar door. You're not close enough. Open cellar door. Try opening the cellar door, but alas, it is locked. Alright. We've already looked at you. There is a poor but clean shack here at the edge of the old sugarcane fields. Nearby, you see a small chicken coop. Open coop. Did I spell it wrong? Double O. Yes, I did. Open coop. The chickens belong to Seely. Leave them alone. Open door. It's locked. Sit in chair. You don't feel like sitting. Okay. A broken arched bridge crosses a large stream at the swamp's edge. Well, this ultra feels like you could just walk off the edge and into the water. So we'll make a new save. I mean, there is a giant hole in the bridge. <laughs> you get that sinking feeling. Okay. Okay, nope, so that's the left bound. And I think now we've done everything except directly middle behind the house. Except the rose garden. This is a wonderful little garden. You wonder who planted it. Certainly not the Colonel. No, no Scooby-Doo cosplay, Emma Blob. Uh, look at roses. Roses surround the little heart-shaped garden. Look at urn. Two marble pedestals sit atop two matching marble pedestals sit two matching marble urns. Look at seat. There are two garden benches. don't think there's anything else here that especially interests me. You, Mori? Uh, I would like to go back to the carriage house. Sure. 
dun 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 Speed walking. Um, left. No, where's the... Here we go. So in here, yep. Mm -hmm. We never looked inside a carriage. Ah. Look we kind of just grabbed the old and carriage. left. You look inside the decrepit carriage and find a crowbar. Thinking it might come in handy, you take it with you. Well, we had a lever that we couldn't press in the garden thing. We could also try levering up the arm of the um, suit of armor before we oil it. So that it doesn't there's immediate... So Sorry? Please. Uh, there's also the loose floorboard in the chapel. Ah, yes. So many... So many things to use boat rib on. We haven't played... Indiana Jones yet. We are yet to learn the merits of boat rib, of ship rib, but that is a Sierra game where you use ship rib on everything as a crowbar. So, use crowbar on floorboard. What do you want to do with the Crowbar floorboard? Use crowbar on floorboard. Fry floorboard with crowbar. The floorboard can be pried open, exposing a small niche in the chapel floor. Look in niche. You're not close enough. Look in niche. Inside the niche you see an old leather-bound Bible. Take Bible. After removing the brittle old Bible from the opening in the floorboard, you carefully open it. Written inside the front cover, you see... Francois Perrier... Oh my gosh, this is telling you when everyone died. Francois Perrier Crouton, born 1787, passed away 1832. Married Claudette Marie Touret, 1815. Claudette Marie Crouton, born 1769. Passed away. We're probably going to need one of these death dates then at some time, eh? Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Print screen powers active. I'm noting things down instead, so uh, it takes yeah. me a few seconds. It's okay. I'm in no rush. Gives me a chance to have a drink. Mm. Wait, that doesn't make sense. You must be up there because Thomas Wed Mary Francis O'Neill stands under Claude. That doesn't make sense. are a lot of members of the family, but there used to be. There used to be big families when more than half of babies passed away in the first four years. Oh, well, I have everything. Is there a second page to our horror? No. 
we just put the Bible back. Upon further searching through the old Bible, you notice a, a strange notation on the last page. It says, Sarah, our end is near. The bell will ring solemnly on our final night. And then we'll sound no more. Sir Lancelot will forever salute us. Do not weep for us, my child. We will watch over you. We love you. Don't ever forget. With a sad heart, you tenderly close the fragile Bible and reverently place it back in its hiding place. So, law slash maybe a number solution to some sort of safe or something later. It very well be. Oh, I didn't want to go back in. So we tried crowbar here. We can also try crowbar on... statue thing. We could also try seeing if the crowbar extends our range to pull the lever. Use crowbar on loop. I spelled it wrong. Not crowbarred. Crowbar on loop. On ring. Uh, on rope. No. Fight the croc with a crowbar? What if we just go up and ring the bell with a crowbar? Strike bell with crowbar. Uh, ding bell with crowbar. Ring bell with crowbar. You need to pull on the right. Okay, no. It doesn't look like the crowbar is the solution to that thing. Uh, across to the garden maze. That I, well, I thought it was a maze, it's not a maze. And seeing as we found some stuff out, we might as well dump another save. Okay, use crowbar on lever. What was it called again? Look at nymph. Blah, 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 blah. You notice a small square shaft. Use crowbar on shaft. Uh, lever shaft with crowbar. Use shaft with crowbar? No. Doesn't seem to be the solution. We can also try the set of armor. Okay, so save. Use crowbar on armor. Uh, brace armor with crowbar. Mm. Support armor. With crowbar? Maybe we can take axe? Mm. Could you look at the, qu at the um, armor again? Yeah. A very s old suit of armor with one gloved hand holding a battle axe stands beside the stairway. Although it's well polished, all of its joints are rusted. And then it instantly leaves the screen. You can't like, it's not a separate screen to investigate. Mm -hmm. 
I was just wondering if if we die when we try to um, oil the hand, could we potentially get the helmet off? Take helmet. You can't get that. Uh, pull helmet. Push helmet. No. Use on crowbar helmet? on helmet. No. Hmm. I meant to apply the oil. On the helmet? Yeah. Now it's a inspectable thing, maybe. Take helmet. You can't get that. Hmm. At least we didn't die. At least we didn't die. Now can we take helmet? Can't get that. Maybe I'm too close or too far away. Pull helmet. That implies that maybe there's some other part of it that we can... Mm -hmm. Oil, though. Oil armor. Oil leg of armor? Oil arm of armor? This is possibly going to kill us again. Yes. Hmm. Oil and of armor. Damn it. I thought that might just open the hand, and then the axe will fall out. Shoulder? That feels like it's a little too... specific. Yeah. When you're in the, um, the, in the bigger picture menu, of it. Or... So when we're in this one. Or the closed in, the zoomed in. The zoomed in one. So, what was it? Oil helmet. And it leaves us here. Yeah, so when we're here... If we can then look at armor again now... Does it say anything? Same as before. A very old suit of armor with one gloved hand holding a battle axe stands behind the stairway. Although it is well polished, all of the joints are completely rusted. Okay, so if we break that in, it's helmet, so I guess you could helmet, say leg. the mascot of the separate thing. Arm. Arm and leg. We've had helmet, arm and leg work so far. Helmet and leg did nothing. We could try and Does knee. the mask itself? Oh, mask, okay. Oil Oh, well, face visor. guard, I guess, is the right one. Oil visor. I think that counts as head. Pull visor? Open visor. Maybe there's something in there? You carefully open the armor's visor and peek inside. You see a small metal valve handle. Hanging by a hook inside the armor's helmet, you grab the valve handle. You also see an old yellowed note pasted to the inside of the helmet. Curious about the note, you read it and it says, Our dearest daughter Sarah, we knew you would know to look in the armor. This war is terrible. We fear our end is near. In case you're not the only one to find this note, we won't give too much away. 
Use this valve handle with your favorite water nymph. Aha. Don't forget, we love you very much. Love forever, Mama and Papa. Through the hedge garden. Yes. Dun 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 dun. So I thought this was going to be a lot more about walking around and asking all of the people about each other. This is a lot more, uh... Point and clicky than I, like... I was expecting it to be a lot more personable. So it was, uh, use... What was it called? Use... Valve? Valve. On... Latch. Look at Nymph. Shaft. Use Valve on Shaft. Okay. Doesn't work. Uh, valve Shaft. Hmm. Apply valve to shaft. Get the shaft. Oh, did we not pick it out of the helmet? We just looked at it? Oh. Uh, Maybe. Do Maybe. you have an inventory? Uh, not that I'm aware. I think it was in the manual. Um... Action inventory. Oil can, crowbar, notebook and pencil, valve handle. Valve handle might be the um the key key thing. So I might have to say use valve handle on shaft. What do you want to do with the valve handle? Use valve handle with the shaft. Valve, handle, shaft. That's not clear. We sure are getting shafted, um, pizza not. Mm. Put it in? Place, put, put, valve. Put in valve handle? Uh, put, yeah, put valve, handle, on shaft. There we go. The metal valve handle is now attached to the valve stem at the base of the statue. Pull. Lever. You don't have it. Use lever. Press lever. Press handle. Pull handle. Oh my gosh. Press shaft. The metal shaft doesn't move. Pull shaft. The metal shaft doesn't move. Use shaft. You don't have it. Take shaft. It can't be taken. I mean, we've succeeded at doing something. Turn shaft? Turn handle? Lever? Turn handle, yeah. Turn handle. Ah, well done, Mori. Upon turning the valve handle, I was expecting it to be a push-pull, not a spin. Upon turning the valve handle, you hear a click and the fountain comes to life. As our reward, we successfully, we've... <laughs> we successfully turned it on the hat. That's fountain. As, a, as our reward, we now have an animated fountain. <laughs> like a lovely Easter egg, and a fantastic little animation, <laughs> but uh, not not worth the effort that we put into it. I have to say. 
But look mm. at the animation. <laughs> it is impressive. It is an impressive animation. Oh, gosh. Now we've got a fully interactive world here. Okay. Now we, we've had time pass, so we need to recheck the original rooms, because things can have changed there. So I will start with the top. Nope, you're still not in here. And these rooms. Okay, so he's in here now. If we spy on him... Armoire. He's having a drink in his room. No? Nah? Okay, so maybe we're allowed to go talk to him. Uh, ask Rudy about Henry. Uncle Henry hasn't always understood me. I could sure use his money, uh, I mean support more. Ask Rudy about Seely. She's a strange old girl. Ask Rudy about Doctor. Why do you care? He's nothing but a jerk. Ask Rudy about Gloria. Don't listen to what others say about her. She's a good cookie. Ask Rudy about Ethel. Aren't Ethel's always drunk? Who cares about her? Ask Rudy about Gertie. Leave my mother out of this. Ask Rudy about the ashes. The game does not understand, Kitty. Ask Rudy about Beauregard. The dog's okay, I guess. He doesn't like dogs. He must be guilty. Mm -hmm. Ask Rudy about Polly. I don't pay any attention to the bird. Ask Rudy about... Was it Blaze? A horse is a horse. Of course, of course. Unless, of course, the horse, of course, is the famous Mr. Ed. Uh, ask Rudy about Lillian. Lillian has always overreacted to things. Someone ought to teach her some self-control. Uh, uh, you've forgotten Clarence. Clarence, thank you. Ask Rudy about Clarence. He's nothing but a lying scoundrel. And the boyfriend? That was Clarence. That's Clarence. And the, what, what about the, um, isn't there a separate lawyer? Uh, the, the boyfriend and the lawyer is the same guy. Really? Isn't there a, like, a family lawyer? Uh, where's my, the colonel's bequest, Not fingerprints, the other thing, manual. Blah, 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 where is our dramatis personae? So we did the Colonel, we did Lillian, we did Ethel, we did Gertrude, we did Gloria, we did Rudolph, Clarence, Jeeves, I didn't do Jeeves, we've got Jeeves, Fifi, okay, Jeeves and Fifi, and that's it, fair enough. Ask Rudy about Fifi, so this is the French maid. She's a looker, all right, but she ain't to be trusted. And ask Rudy about... Who was the other one? Eh. Jeeves. Jeeves, yes, butler. You, you, you're really... 
You're not giving your kid a lot of choice in life if you name them Jeeves, are you, about what their future is going to be? Nope. Jeeves is Jeeves. I don't think much about him. Okay. Nothing especially interesting there. One side of the family doesn't seem to get on with the other side. They all seem to think that the, um... The mum of our friend is a drunk, which we have not seen any evidence for. Oh! Progress? <laughs> Why? Act 2. 8 o'clock. This town No foot may slide Ding, ding, ding. Night pizza not. Good night pizza. Yeah, you have to research every room you've already been in before, Esty, if, if time has passed, because things may have changed. So because we had the time skip when we saw the young the young niece and nephew talking to each other, now that we've come back here, this is now progress. And the old lady is asleep. Save. Look at Gertie. Gertrude Dijon is the colonel's widowed sister-in-law. She obviously is behind the times as she looks like she's stepped out of the gay 90s. A bit of a snob, she walks around with her nose up in the air and has an annoying habit of constantly playing with her strands of pearls. But she is asleep. Does that mean we can now look at her stuff? Open suitcase. No. Open suitcase. No. Look at plant. Mm, I can't think of anything else. Maybe open crate, open chest. No. Look in chest. No. And now that time has passed there, we can explore everywhere else. So... What's in that inventory? He's moved. Inventory... Oh, sorry. Stop moving! Oil can, crowbar, notebook, and pencil. So the, um, the lever thing that we got from inside the statue, the armor, has officially gone. It's been used up. Oil can, crowbar, notebook, and pencil. Will you give us more word answers than just being a grumpy old man? Ask Henry about Blaze. Stay out of my stable, young woman. Ask Henry about Silly. Go talk to her yourself. Maybe she can put up with you. Ask Henry about Beauregard. Don't you be messing with my dog. <laughs> Don't you be messing with my dog. Hmm. So he doesn't look to be giving any more meaningful info. Look at Cannon. It's a miniature replica of a cannon from the Spanish-American War, rendered in pewter and wood. Can we take it? The colonel would notice if it were gone. Uh, has anything changed in... Yeah? No, not unless I'm suddenly allowed to open case, open bag. Since it belongs to the doctor, you should leave it alone. No, it doesn't look like anything has changed here. This was the kit. No, this is ours. Okay. These two are gone. So our friend Lillian and her mum have um, moved from in here.
Can we take the bear? Some of the toys are fragile. Better to leave them alone. Can I open the dollhouse? You can't do that. Look in dollhouse. The dollhouse is empty. Open suitcase. Did we open our suitcase? We did. It's what had our notepad in it. Oh, okay. But open suitcase. You see the clothes you packed for the weekend. And then you close it again. Can we open Leon's suitcase? It's locked. Uh, look at... What was the word for makeup table? Mm. Vanity. Vanity, thank you. You see a nice little vanity by the bed. No. Uh, where else has people changed if there's nothing interesting different here? Uh, could you check the sleeping uh, woman's bedroom again? Ooh! He's trying to kiss the maid. And she slaps him. But yes, we could go <clears throat> check check uh, sleeping lady's room. Uh oh. Did something happen in here? The small table has been knocked over, and the window is wide open. Is that oh, cigar that look smell good. you smell? Uh. Slow right down because I don't want to walk out the window. <laughs> I feel like the game would totally let me... Or let us walk out the window. Look. Out. Window. As you peer through the open window into the darkness outside, you look downwards, you think you can see something, but you can't make out any details. Hmm... Oh, I guess we go outside then. Uh, could you look at the pot or whatever it is that's been knocked over? Sure. Look at plant. It appears that the small table has been knocked over with a potted plant it's supported lying crumpled on the floor. We could also see if we can open the suitcases now that there's no one in the room. Uh <laughs> No, they're still locked. Okay. So, oh, oh, there's someone walking around on outside. So, if we go... One important tool a good detective uses, besides asking questions, is to selectively reveal information to them and listen to their response. If you tell Gloria about Fifi, you may receive additional information about Fifi, or at least what Gloria thinks of Fifi. If you've found any items that you are confused about or would like more information about, try showing them to others. They can give you more information about them. So we've got show and tell. Thank you, Dad. Do, do, do. <gasps> oh dear! It looks as if Gertie has accidentally fallen from her upstairs window and died. Or was this truly an accident? Save. Inspect Gertie. She's dead. <laughs> Take. Solid statement. Gertie. She's heavy. Why don't you go tell someone about her? Oh. Who are we going to tell? Gloria here? Sure, why don't you tell her that her mother is dead? That's, uh, that's going to go down well. About 
Gertie. Mother? Oh, no, that can't be. And she walks outside. You're very the mean. Sun, perhaps? There's nothing there. Oh. There's nothing there. The murderer disposed of the body without us noticing. With 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 in a room covered with windows. Like we can literally see. There's nothing but windows. This is like 90% window, 10% wall. And yet we didn't see the body. Mm, that's a bit hard to believe. Impressive stealth skills. Ooh, the record's playing now, though. What was the word for this? Uh, stop Victrola. Take record. It doesn't belong to you. Use Victrola. No, okay. Should we go tell someone else? I mean, we don't have a body, so we can't prove anything. I mean, I wouldn't, I, I don't know, I wouldn't just say to one person that someone is dead. I'd be telling everyone. Even if they don't believe me. Sure, we can be the weird person who insists on seeing dead people. You know, Polly, you really understand me, don't you? Ork? Polly? Ork? Oh, and she, she appears to be actually drinking, which corresponds to the nieces and nephews claim that she's perpetually drunk. Uh... So what was it? Tell? Mm hmm Tell Ethel about Gertie. What? <laughs> she appears to be genuinely getting drunk. At least if she's here being drunk, she's not likely to be the Moidra. You're not going to tell Polly? Oh, okay, yep. Sure. If I said we should tell everyone, we should tell Polly. I should be self-consistent. Tell... Oh, come on, let me... Tell... Polly... About... Gertie. You don't get any response. Dun 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 Let's go tell... Seely, if she's still in the kitchen. Oh! Fifteen minutes past. So Jeeves was walking in and out. Hmm. Now, now. Chili? I think that's what that wrong. And I, oh, I know Seely, but it just doesn't seem right. Oh, hi, Laura. Good God, she... She needs that bread at lightning speed at the moment. Oh, he leaves food for the doggo. The doggo laps up the food and then hops in there. Is there new things to look in the doghouse? Look in doghouse. Well, well, look who's in his home. It's Beauregard. Uh, maybe we can use the crowbar on the cellar door? What was it called again, though? Was it called just cellar door? Open? I think it was cellar door. Not close enough. Nah, doesn't seem to like it wherever we are. Can we ask Sally about the cellar? Sure.
I wouldn't know about that. What about Lillian? What about it? Uh, tell... No, it was show. Tell? Tell. Lillian about Gertie. That can't be true, Laura. I'll go and see. A short time later. You're just imagining things, Laura. What if we tell you? Tell... Silly about Gertie. I'm sure you're just seeing things. There's all kinds of strange things you can see in the swamp. Hmm. We open the fridge. Can we get a new bone? What did I spell wrong? Nope, nothing interesting in there. So there's no second bone. No. Mm. What if we... So what was the other thing? We were told to show and to... What if we tell Lillian about Fifi? That little tramp, I wish she'd go away. So we can get more info out of people. Tell Seely about Fifi. As long as she do her work, things is fine. Tell Lillian about Blaze. You should be careful around him. Tell Seely about Blaze. It ain't my house. You make the best bread, Seely. I just love it. It'll be piping hot tomorrow morning. Tell... Lillian... about... Polly? I wouldn't pay much attention to the bird if I was you. Hmm. Do you want to talk to everyone about everyone, or do you want to explore the rooms to see if anything else has changed? Ooh, let's just talk to people. Okay. So, tell... Ooh, how's your son doing, Seely? I'm so proud of him, Miss Lillian. He's graduating from college, you know. Tell Seely about Valoria. It ain't my business what she does. Um, tell Lillian about Gloria. Don't believe everything she tells you. Mm, what if we tell Seely about the lecherous old doctor? I don't care about him. <laughs> Lillian about doctor. Oh. Ah, yes. About t Doctor. Don't waste your time with that old quack. Mm. Did you tell Lillian about uh, Clarence? Sure. You can... If it will... Wait for them to stop talking. Tell Lillian about... Clarence. He's up to something. I only wish I knew what it was. Now what about That was what we were trying to tell you, but oh well. He was hitting on the maid. Oh, oh no, that was Rudy, wasn't it? Yeah, Rudy's the one that hit on the maid. Uh, Clarence is the one that's trying to trick Lillian's mother into selling the property. The house, yeah, the back end of the to exploit it for something. Mm -hmm. uh, what he do is none of my concern. Hmm. What if we t tell Henry?
Doctor isn't here. He isn't in his room. Uh, he isn't in the study. Oh, has the gun disappeared? No, the gun's still in the... Well, let's look at it. It might not actually animate the difference. Look at case. No, the, the, the gun is still there. So the murderer has not stolen the pistol yet. Oh, oh, now that he's not in the room, can we fiddle with the elevator? Open gate. Oh! Someone was just walking around the windows. Hmm. Use lift. Use elevator. Currently you don't see an elevator, just a shaft. Look in shaft. The elevator seems to be upstairs. Can we call the elevator? Nope. <sighs> so... Hmm. What if we spy on her? She's just listening to the Victrola. Okay. Now what if we spy on our friend's mum? She's just gonna be getting sloshed. You know how they s what they say about me, don't you, Polly? Orc? Well, I don't care what they think, especially Gertie and that conniving daughter of hers. I think I have another drink. I Okay, so she's slurring. She's so drunk that she's slurring. Have a drink, Ork? <laughs> Here's to that. Hmm. So we've done these rooms, we need to do the upstairs ones again. Uh, but you haven't spied on the kitchen. Oh, we haven't spied on- I don't know if we can, because isn't the kitchen two rooms deep? Wouldn't it be spying on the empty- Oh yeah, true, it would be the, the dining room. The dining room. But we haven't done it. Uh, can't hurt. Uh, pull. No, that's... Lock. I just think it'll say there's nothing- Oh, no, wrong side, I'm sorry! Exclamation mark, idiot, blobber. Pull mirror. There we go. Face the right way. Look through eyes. Yeah, there's nothing of interest. Didn't have to check. Maybe something happened if we looked there. Sometimes things are weird like that in these old games. Uh, so upstairs. Double upstairs, because there might be now something happening in the upstairs room. Yes, Fifi lives up here now. Um, tell Fifi about Gertie. Oh no, mademoiselle, I am sure you are wrong. The knights here can fool you. Tell, what if we ask Gertie about um, Rudy now? You must be joking. Ah, uh, Gertrude is dead. Yep, that's on me. Ask Fifi about Rudy. Mon dieu, he is nothing but trouble. Uh, tell Fifi about Rudy? The man scares the dickens out of me. That's not very French. Mmm... What if we ask her about Gertrude now that she's dead? I have said too much already, but I 
I think she has her sights set for all of Henry's money. Well, good luck with that, dead lady. And let's escape the obnoxiously loud music Did unless... Did she cry when you asked about Rudy? Cry? Uh, ask Fifi about Rudy. I don't have anything else to say about that and she's just blinking. Okay. And if we tell her about him again... You have already told me. Maybe the clothes are gone? No, it's still there. Take them. Still not allowed to. Maybe this door is now open. Nope. Locked from the other side. So that room has changed. And what about these ones? So he's in here. Uh, what if we speak to him about the maid that he was just hitting on? Uh, I know what she's after. I've got her pegged. I know. You know, Fifi could be used for advantage if a person were smart. That can't be true. Not mum. A short time later. You're loony. There's nothing there. Yeah, but your mum's not in her room either. Like, you shouldn't just... <laughs> My mum's not dead. She's just not here. <laughs> is, is the room been tidied as well? Uh, yeah, we could go look at that. Oh, there's water on the floor. The room has been tidied. What? Oh, wow. All these things are happening without our... Uh, without our being there to see them happening or who's doing them. There is water but on the floor. Was that water outside? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to... Look at floor someone has dropped oh no it's not water it's a white handkerchief take how the hell do you spell that uh look at floor hand cur chief take hand cur chief i before e i before e Inspect and cur chief. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Maybe like it's it's monogrammed with the initials R R D for Rudy Dijon or something. But getting just a little picture of a a handkerchief is not quite what I expected. I'm impressed that it's standing up in the middle, though. It uh, looks like it has something underneath it. The dog is the killer? Uh, what if we tell you about your sister being dead? You won't fool me, young lady. You're just trying to get my goat. Show Henry and Kerchief. It ain't nothing that I care about. Hmm. Could he have killed her? Because I think he's one of the few people who smoke cigars. <laughs> He's actually invited everyone to his house, not to distribute his will, but to murder them all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Open bag. 
No, we're still not allowed to do that. I mean, I don't see... He he couldn't have been the murderer in terms of being the person walking around on the outside. Like, there was the shadowy person walking around outside on the windows, and he's... Well, that's not really his thing. No, but he could have run her over with the wheelchair and then have G's tidy it all up. Maybe. This had the bathroom in it. Nothing appears to have changed. Let's check the bin. Which was waste paper basket. It's still empty. Oh, can we take the elevator? Uh, if we try and do it in his room, he says leave things alone. But we can try again. Stay away from my elevator. Shakes fist at cloud. Let's show everyone else the handkerchief. And just in case you decide to murder us for finding evidence of you being the murderer, make a save. Just looks like a hanky to me. So you're not useful. Dead woman's room has no one. Cupboard has no one. It appears Gloria is more in the mood to listen to music than talk to you. Stop, Victrola. Try some other way. Uh... Just embrace the tunes. Remove record? I don't know. Well, if she doesn't want to accept talking about the handkerchief, we'll talk to other people. So there's still... There's still you. Yes. Show... Show... Ethel... And... Kerchief. She doesn't even look at it. She's too busy being drunk. And then the people in the kitchen. Maybe your friend's hungry. She keeps coming in here. Uh, show... Lillian... And... Ker... Chief. Ooh, that looks familiar. And then doesn't actually tell us. I've seen this, you know. I recognise that as being Rudy's or something. Just, it looks familiar. Uh, show Sealy and Kerchief. That doesn't look familiar. It was Lillian! Oh my god, it's just open cellar. But they described it as cellar! Um, this must be the butler's room. It's not too bad, considering that it's down in the cellar. So the butler is asleep. Uh, look at desk. You see nothing special. What do you think that thing on the desk is? Take a box? You ask Jeeves if you can have the crackers. <gasps> Polly wanted some crackers. Uh, Perfect, open. we can now talk to Polly. Cupboard. 
We can bribe the parrot. There's nothing in Jeeves' medicine cabinet. And he has a toilet and a... Oh, what about the medicine cabinet, though? Open medicine cabinet. There's nothing you need in his personal medicine cabinet. Uh, open cupboard. No. Huh? Open door? That feels Light like door? it's a door. Use door? Mm. And we could also tell him about the dead lady. It definitely looks like a sliding door. Okay, I'll try sliding door after. Um, tell Jeeves about Gertie. Kindly get out of my room. Uh, show Jeeves handkerchief. He isn't interested in it. So are you saying open a sliding door? No. Hmm. No idea. Negotiate with the door for our release. So he just gave us crackers. We can ask the parrot. The parrot sees much and hears even more. So it's give Polly Cracker. Ock? Gotta tell him. Tell him. Racehorse scam. Ock? So... I'm taking that as... Gertie told... or The parrot overheard Gertie saying he was going to tell... She was going to tell... About the racehorse scam that the lawyer has. And that's about it. Maybe well, that's motive for him murdering... Gertie? We did listen to that conversation at 7.45. <clears throat> between Clarence and Gertrude, where she did uh, talk about that. And she did threaten him. Okay, so maybe this is just establishing that he can remember things that have been said here, even if we don't watch them. And, like, the first time you watch it and then he says the same thing, but in the future you don't get to watch it and he tells you stuff and so it's new information. I could very rarely. Hmm. Oil can, crowbar, notebook and pencil, six crackers. Oh, God, no. You might have to use the crackers at the right time. So we should save before using the crackers from now on, because they might be a finite resource. <laughs> I really hope we didn't give the bone too early. Yeah, we've used bone on dog too early and zorked ourselves. Mm -hmm. Could be. It, it would be typical that you need the dog to move and then it's when you use the bow and not when it's just resting in the kitchen. Oh, you think we could try and... Like, he's in the way of something in the doghouse now. Yeah, but we don't have the bone anymore, do we? Can I offer you a cracker? He's not interested. Can you call him? What if we give him the um, handkerchief to sniff? Mm. Show. Sure. 
you get no reaction. Call dog? Yeah, we can try calling dog. He ignores you. But we gave you a bone dog you should remember and love us. Oh well. Guess we should give him pets anyway. Look in dog house, but I think it's just gonna say the same thing about the dog is there. Yeah. Pet dog. Yep, we give him some pets. Hmm. Old lady is dead, but not really a lot of other changes. Friend's mom is getting drunk. Those two are still in the kitchen. Jeeves is lying down and let us got crackers, but doesn't seem to have anything else. Mm. What if we spy on her? She's just listening to the gramophone. Uh, the other room? Just to double check that there's not not something starting there. As this far one? as spying. Sure. Oh, you want to look in the um the library look. from the. Yeah. Yeah. It is something we haven't done. Totally. S exhaustion search. Uh, look through eyes. No, nothing of interest. Okay. Good to be sure. No, it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It very much is. Where, uh, where is Clarence and the doctor at the more current moment? Yeah, I don't know. It is a good question. They're disposing of the body, as far as I'm, as far as I'm concerned. This will be her getting drunk, which we've already done. She's still drinking. Although the parrot looks really good there. Are they disposing of the body at the... Ooh! Ooh! 8.30. You can't go on with this any longer. I must tell him about... Quiet, you! Let's go into the house to continue this discussion. So, presumably we go spy on them from the... ...appropriate room. Mm -hmm. Oh, clock. Surely they didn't just go in and talk... It Talk about it in the room that Gloria is in. Look through eyes, but maybe. No, she's just listening there. What about the study? Library, sorry. No. It might be the dining room. Or mirror. Yeah, they're out there in the study and we can't spy on them, which would make no sense. Yeah, here we go. They're in the dining room. It's just not right. We've got to tell him about it. 
puff, 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 puff. No, it'll work out, Wilbur. I've got some plans. How are you going to replace that hundred grand we took from Henry? Where would you get that kind of money? I know people. I can do it. Trust me. Why were we so stupid as to buy into a racehorse anyway? And to use Henry's money, we should have known better. It would have worked out, Wilbur. That wasn't our fault that bleep horse broke its leg. All I can say, Clarence, is you better do something fast, because if you don't, I'm fessing up. I'll handle it, Wilbur. Just don't be stupid and say anything. I've got to go. Remember, don't say nothing. Hmm. That isn't, that isn't, well, maybe it might be, might be motive for them murdering the lady because she also knew about the horse and didn't want anyone telling anyone. She wanted to, to tell. She was going to tell on them. And we've had time pass, so we get to reinvestigate every room. Also, he's smoking cigars. And the room smelt like cigars. It's an open door. No, open cellar. No. Can I please? Okay, there we go. Peel head out of the room. Oh. And then at quarter to nine, the doctor is in the study again. What mm -hmm. if I show him the handkerchief? Or talk to him about... So, show doctor and kerchief. It doesn't look familiar. Ask Ethel about it. But she's too busy getting drunk. And what was the other thing? Tell the doctor about Clarence. I just wish Clarence could solve some of his problems. Hey, why not to say? We're doing it right now. Uh, those were the two things that we had to do at the moment that, that seemed obvious, showing everyone the handkerchief and talking. Oh, I didn't talk to you about Gertie yet, actually. So, if you're in on it, tell Doctor about Gertie. Oh no, I'd better go check on that. A short time later, you're crazy girl. She's not there. Yes, but her not being there isn't evidence that she isn't dead. Oh, <clears throat> Act three. More progress. It is now nine. And Gloria and 
Clarence are playing pool? The doctor had an impressive belly. We went from nothing to Act 3 real fast, I hope we didn't miss anything. I don't know how these games work. Is it, there's a genuine chance that you just miss most of the stuff that you're supposed to need to figure out? For Laura 2, you, you, time only really progresses when you've... Like, you, you can't miss too much. My understanding is for this one you can. And that the imp... the um... The game sort of expects you to replay it a number of times to get the, like, most solved solution. Mm. <clears throat> At least now she's not, um... Can I tell you about your dead mum? Tell <laughs> Gloria about... Gertie. You won't pull that little charade on me again, darling. Hmm. Show her the handkerchief. Show... Gloria... And... Her... Chief. Well, it's not mine. Baron's playthrough looked like he did things out of intended order quite strongly. Will you please step in? Oh, wow. She actually tells us to get out of the way so she can play pool. Uh, tell. No, I won't because I want to talk to you. Oh, wow. He just, he, he won't do anything until you. Tell. Clarence about Gertie. You never give up, do you? You'll say anything to get my attention while well, this isn't going to work. And finally... Show Clarence and Kerchief. I ain't never seen it before. And then get out of the way. These guys are now playing pool. Since we never really got to do it in Act 2 because it finished off fast, should we circle around the outside and see if anything's changed there? Sure. I just want to check one thing while we're here, if Polly has mm -hmm. changed their... what they tell us. And we'll save so that if we waste a cracker, we can... <laughs> give Polly cracker. She's after me! Orc! So afraid! So he is saying something new. In which case, you can have the cracker. As long as you tell me new information, I don't mind giving you a cracker. And you want us to circle around outside. Maximum Just speed. in case anything's changed. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Don't think so. See? Will the alligator still eat us if we go this way? It also looks like the alligator only eats you sometimes. Or maybe not at this time of day. If we walk off into the water, same as before. This way... Same as before. We could see if this door is open now. It is. You are inside a leaky old playhouse. <laughs> Miss Morrigan's fear. We're passing time too quickly and not noticing things. No. We should go outside. 
this immediately causes us to pass more time. <laughs> uh, look around. Okay, there's nothing special. That that baby is frighteningly. Take doll. The dolls don't belong to you. Um. Talk to Lillian. What are you doing here, Laura? I'm wondering why a grown girl is inside a... a cubby house. How is this progress? So she stuck the key in the lock and... Hmm. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Now, I did wonder- Oh, no! What's happened to Wilbur? Someone must have hit him over the head and killed him. Nervously, you look behind you, but no one is here. Inspect... Body. It appears as he was hit on the head with a blunt instrument. Um. Well, let's tell Lillian about no, Wilbur. No, wait. No? You want to go back? Could is he is he gone now? I mean, he was bleeding. I assume he's he's dead, dead. Yeah. Now, now the body is gone. He's dead now. That's okay. That's why we have got saves. So restore. Oh. We can go and do it again. Doesn't take two minutes. Dun, 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 dun. Go to the dollhouse. Make time pass. Not close enough to the door. Ah, now I'm too far away again because it moved. No, no. There we go. She's in here. Time passes, and we can go find Wilbur. He's not dead now. What? Is, <laughs> is he dead or is he not dead? Can what? we not get the body back? <laughs> what? Well, I guess I'm putting a question mark about Wilbur is dead. Uh, well, if we try to talk to her, does she... What if we try and tell her about him? Open door. Tell Lillian about Wilbur. She's more interested in reading a book to some dolls than talking to you. It's best to leave her alone at the moment. Something looks wrong here. A chair has been knocked over, and there are signs of a struggle on the floor. Okay, so I'm gonna slow Is down. That... It looks like a sword. Look at floor. You see nothing special. Oh, it's his walking stick. Can we get the walking stick? I think. Pick up walking stick. And someone walking in the background. Get. Oh yeah, there's a get walking stick. Uh, inspect. Room. Inspect. Chair. A chair has been knocked askew. Inspect. Well, that looks like blood. Inspect blood. You see nothing special. 
but you're unable to pick up the cane. Look at floor. I was not. We'll try again. Take cane. You don't see it here. Take walking stick. Take stick? Hmm. Anything else before I... Oh, I really want that cane because I would assume that would be great for pulling on the bell, but... Um... Yeah. We can't, we can't. I mean, we'll try some other things. What else is there? Uh, push. Cane. Pull. Cane. Pick up. I mean, it's been take, but we'll try and pick up. Cane. With a single no space. Doesn't understand pick up. Take. Cane. No. Take. Sword. Take. So now the doctor's been killed off. Instead of... But isn't that Wilbur? Oh, so maybe it's... Well, we could... Do you want to go to the... The church and see if he's there now that we've seen this? Sure, because Wilbur is the doctor. We didn't notice that before he died last time, though. All we did was talk to her in the dollhouse and then... Oh? Where are you going? She's even, like, drunkenly... Just follow her. She's quick. No, nah, she disappeared. Oh, there she is. Just following the drunken lady around. She lost me. <laughs> okay. Church? Sure. Okay, she's just just doing laps from the sound of that. That's that's what most old little lady do when they're drunk. Apparently, is just do laps around. Uh... <gasps> g -g 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 ghost. the same that's the same and that's it we go look at ghost you don't really believe in ghosts do you tell ghost about Gertie you don't get any response Did we really lose Wilbur's body? <laughs> yeah, it, it does seem like between saves his body just didn't... ...chose to not spawn.
What's the thing on the edge of the crate there in the different color? Is it just shading or? I think it's meant to be the bottom of the light coming through the window. If you look down where my feet are. Yeah. There's like window, yeah, that makes sense. window light shading and it's the same on the box. With the dithered textures. Textures in air quotes. I can't open the door. Okay, you have to lose the, use the left hand half of the door. Uh, you didn't check the right side, though. The right silo? The right side of the of the property with yeah, the gazebo okay. so we haven't and done the uh, hedge. gazebo or the hedge. Yes, the hedge garden. Sure. Dun 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 dun. dun. This could have changed. I think that's the same. And there's no one here. Hmm. Nothing new at the gazebo either, I'm assuming. Doesn't look it. Oh knob? No. It's not like a secret. A button for a secret thing. It's double L. No? What? What? Okay. Jeeves put something into his cupboard. He's getting dressed. Is he just going to move away? Can we can we snag more stuff if you leave? Or are you just going to... He tightens his bow tie. He does his hair. He washes can his Can you hands. just snoop while he's there? Uh, okay, open. No. Tell or ask Jeeves about Henry. Get out of my room. Tell Jeeves about Gertie is the same. And the doctor. I don't want to converse. Okay, so he just get out. Uh, I suppose we haven't also checked the maid's house and the chickens are still in the chicken coop. It's not nice to go into people's houses without being invited. Hmm. And the other thing we haven't checked is if the rose garden has changed. No, that looks the same. Yeah, like, look at the mirror here. As I walk past the mirror, it definitely animates a reflection. No, we haven't managed to get the well to work dw dwarky. Okay, state change. We can reinspect everything. This is the same. There's still no one here. 
This is now empty, so Celia is somewhere else. She's no longer in here because she's walking around the grounds getting drunk. Anything in the passageways? In the secret rooms? Yeah. Open mirror. Pull mirror. Just the parrot. And the cane on the floor. Oh. Oh. Yes. Pick up. We've had no indication until now that anyone else knew about these secret rooms. Inspect Kane. I mean, surely someone else has to have known about the rooms. It is showing us the cane. Uh, look through eyes. Yeah, otherwise it doesn't make sense for the um, scuff marks on the floor mm -hmm. in front of the armoires on the top level. But we hadn't had any, like, evidence of Can people we now actually pull the bell? using them. With the cane? Yeah, 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 yeah. Great idea. Excellent idea. Fantastic idea. Several million points out of ten. I mean, it has a hooked ending and everything, so... Use cane on rope. Use rope with cane. Pull rope with with cane. You reach up with the cane, you hook the rope, nothing happens, the bell is too rusted to move. Well, we have got oil. Mm hmm. Use oil on bell. You oil the rusted bell, and it may have loosened it. Use. No, it was pull. Rope with cane. Yep. Now you're a real southern bell. Okay. All that work and it was <laughs> it was just death. Oh, oh that's like twenty minutes of <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I mean, we should have saved. No, we should have saved. Yep, it's on us. It's on me. I'm in the driver's seat, so it was you. Open door. You come in here. We talk to you. Time passes. Talk. Talk to Lillian. Oh, what are you doing in here? And then we go look for his body and see if this time it's there. It's not there this time. Maybe, uh, maybe we didn't talk to her before looking in that room the first time and I just thought we did. I feel like I think we did. we did. We did. I don't know why he's not there. Um, dun -dun 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 -dun. we go get the cane. Yes, there's been a struggle. There's one cane in here. There's another cane in the secret viewing room. Pull mirror. Take cane. Inspect cane. Oops. Oil. Bell? Is 
save. Now, if we're not meant to use the cane on here, what are we supposed to do? Um, ah, like, that's a big question. Is it just an easter egg for getting killed? We could show the cane to people. So... Mm -hmm. Lillian, what do you know about the cane? Show cane to Lillian. She doesn't notice it. They did say she was too busy being an extremely large child. She's meant to be like 20 years old and she's playing in her giant dollhouse. These two were empty, if I remember correctly. Yes. We could show Jeeves. He's not interested in it. Get out of my room. Could you go back to the library? Yes. Um, and when it said look on floor, what exactly did it do? You see nothing special. No, but at the, at the yeah, yeah, murder, yeah. well. I was very surprised. Uh, yeah, there. No? Look around. Okay. Something seems wrong. A chair has been knocked over and there are signs of a struggle on the floor. Okay. The so if you look here. floor, then you don't find anything. Yeah, you don't find anything. Anymore? Uh. Um. Okay, yep, no you do You have to look around first, then you can look at floor There's okay. some sort of flag there A fireplace oh, poker that... has mm, been That's why we couldn't pick it up On the library floor And now we know that it's a poker And you see small pink feathers Scattered upon the floor And it's not blood, it's feathers Pick okay. up poker you retrieve the fireplace poker. Your eyes happen to fall upon some small pink feathers. Pick up feathers. What? You see no sense in carrying around a bunch of feathers. Inspect feathers. You wonder how the small pink feathers got on the floor. They look like they might have come from a pillow or a feather boa. Which are the long, fluffy things that women wear mm -hmm. uh, around their shoulders. Can you look on table? Look on table. You spy an open magazine. This must have been the w magazine that Wilbur was reading. Can we steal it? <laughs> Better just leave these things here. Can we look at the magazine? Uh, I don't know if we want to do that, given that he's the lecherous old man. But we do. You read the name of the magazine. It is called The Racehorse Quarterly. Upon examining an open page, you see a picture of a beautiful thoroughbred named Sunny Boy. The named Sunny Boy has been circled in red. So presumably that's the name of the horse that they bought? Presumably so. You don't see an elevator, just a shaft. Um, can we confront Gloria about... 
murdering Wilbur. No, time passes! I was getting her go. Actually, in case she murders us first, let's, uh... Make a save. Go. Gloria. No, it's not the other way around. The construction is show item to person. Show... Poker... To... Gloria. It is of no interest to me. Um. Hmm. Did you give Polly a cracker before or after the save? No, you you did it. Uh... We did it in both, but then we've died again from the um the bell, and so I think I think in. No, we, we did it, and then I made that other save after doing the polycracker thing. Okay. Fifi is here. So, show... That... She hasn't been alone, because there's okay. two glass and a decanter on the table. To Fifi. I don't want to look at eat. Oh, yeah, there's, there's stuff here now. Look at table... Two glasses sit on the table near the cognac decanter. Inspect glass. Same thing. Inspect decanter. It looks like a good cognac. Mm. Look at floor. Take clothes. Still no. Can we tell her about the decanter? Because that shouldn't be in her room, should it? I don't know. Presumably not. Presumably she's nicked it. Um, tell Fifi about decanter? So what? So <laughs> Uh, oil can, poker, crowbar, notebook and pencil, crackers, cane, handkerchief. Uh, maybe we tell her about handkerchief? I think we already tried. Or maybe she was disappeared. Tell Fifi about... I am not certain, but it may be Madame Prunes. Don't tell anyone, but I fear that man. About Rudy. While we think of more questions, should we go and investigate the room of the supposedly dead man? So the doctor's room, yep, yeah, we can yeah. do that. So he's left of the study. No, upstairs, his bedroom. Isn't he... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. He's left of, um... Old man's room, not... Study. Old man has moved again. His bag is gone. That's a change. I don't know what we can... What if we go look at room? It doesn't appear that anyone's used this room in a long time. That's the same as it was before. It's a guest look of at him. Look at bed? Look at bed. The Murphy bed has been pulled down for Dr. Fields to sleep on. Hmm. Look at floor. Nothing special. Old crates. Hmm. 
There is nothing of interest in the armoire. And there's nothing of interest in the dresser. What if we ask you about the poker? I wouldn't know anything about it. I could care less. Hmm. Well, where is the body? Where are both bodies? There are two missing bodies. Well, yes, but one we can at least... We have told people that we have found. The other one... Has disappeared in this time... Hidden. In this timeline. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so it's not in the chapel. Um, It's not in the hedge garden. It's not in the gazebo. It's not in the dollhouse. It's not inside any of the main rooms. That leaves stable and carriage house. Let's double check the uh, side. Nope. Nope. You look into the well. As it's deep and dark, you can't see much. Still doesn't let me use the crank, though. In boat. Nope. And carriage. Nope. And how is the horsey? Oh. Okay, oh, so he can body. appear in different places in different playthroughs. That's actually kind of cool that it's not like... For such an old game that it isn't deterministic. Mm -hmm. There is only one stall in this old stable. Yeah. Oh, so oh, no. I think we're gonna find some sort of food for the horse. No, what's happened to Wilbur? Someone must t to get the horse to talk? Someone must have hit him over the head and killed him. You look behind you and there's no one there. No, it's just there's a lantern behind the horse that we probably will need. To look down the well? Yeah. Let me just go take lantern. Not close enough. Open. Stall. Oh! The horse, uh... Horses are dangerous creatures. I, I... I have a family member who's got a broken, like, permanently disabled leg because of it. Um, I broke my arm. Horse riding at, like, age 9 or 10 or something. So, yep. Definitely horses are dangerous animals. So we should have had a bribe. We, we need to bribe the horse. Oh, but there are six horses within about 50 meters of me. Doesn't mean they are nice animals. Okay, so he's here, he's dead. We inspect body. It appears he was fatally hit on the head with a blunt instrument. Take body. 
It's too difficult to carry. Perhaps you should go get can some help. Can we search body? Search body? What? You're not close enough, but you'll let me inspect it. With trembling hands, you search Wilbur's body and confirm your suspicions that he's died by a tremendous blow to the head. What's this? It's his monocle. Thinking it might come in handy, you take it with you. Monocle now. In addition to so, oil, oil can. We crackers. would have soft locked ourselves on that if that's any way important. If that's an important item and his body didn't appear somewhere else, yes. No, no, but when we, um, when oh, we left when the his chapel. body disappeared, yes. So if we leave and come back, do I have to leave two screens? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, actually, new idea. What if we wait for the drunken lady to run by mm -hmm. and tell her about the body? Literally no one can come have come in and out of this door because we're here. I mean, it's definitely a plan. Hawk. Will the game allow it? Shh, I did. Uh, tell Ethel about Doctor. Show Ethel Monocle. How's it spelled? Mon Ockle. Mon Ock. No O. Ethel is not here. Let us wait. Wait for her to do her loop. How long does it take for a drunken woman to walk around the state? Not too, too long. I really hope that she would do the usual walk into the place, come back and say, There's nobody there. So. Okay, I guess we have to go find someone who isn't sloshed off their face and tell them about the body. Can we look at the monocle? We haven't been able to do the other things, so... There you go. A monocle with some nice little glass transparency effects on it. What could we use a monocle on? Tell... Lillian about Doctor. They're too busy talking to their pets. Well, their toys. <clears throat> At this rate, there's not going to be anyone left to, uh... Like, there's only going to be one person left to be the murderer. <laughs> Everyone's getting killed off. My money is still on the colonel just inviting everyone and then killing them off. Tell... Gloria about Doctor. Even if it were true, darling, why would I care? Cold. Let's see if Parrot has something new to say. <clears throat> I doubt it, but... Give Polly Cracker. Oh, Cracker. Yeah, no. That's not. That doesn't earn you a Cracker car Parrot. <clears throat> Is Seely back in the kitchen, perhaps? 
nope. What if we tell Jeeves he's the next nearest person? Failing that, we can try Fifi and Henry himself. Nah, he's not interested in the dead doctor. What if we show you the monocle, actually? He's not interested. What if we ask about monocle? He just says, buzz off. So then it's Fifi. Weren't we supposed to show Ethel? Well, someone else said ask Ethel about it. We can we can do that once we've um tried Fifi. Fifi and Henry himself. I am sure it is just your mind playing tricks on you. I do not want to look at the monocle. More time passes. We're now a quarter to ten. This ain't for oh. you, kid. So this is Rudy and the lawyer. But they won't say anything while I'm here. So we... Spy on them. Who is this so-called director that Gloria's seeing now? I ought to punch his lights out for getting between me and my girl. Gloria was never your girl, just because she went out with you a couple of times. You thought you owned her? I've got news for you, my sister doesn't need to settle for the likes of you. As a matter of fact, you are nothing but a dalliance for her. A dalliance? You're one to make a comment on, on this. You're just trying to sink Gloria down to your lousy level. You ain't good enough to kiss the ground she walks on. You're nothing but a low-class jerk gonna say ooh ah well I never. Quit butting in between me and Gloria, it's none of your business, I'll handle it the way I want and I won't be asking your permission. I'm warning you Jack, if I ever see you near my sister again I'll cut you up in little pieces and feed them to the dog, got it? Good, I might get the dog out of the dog house. <laughs> you know, ignore the fact that he's threatening murder. When we're looking for a murderer. Oh no, that might get the dog out of the doghouse. Look, um, they're going to die anyway. We <laughs> might as well get something out of it. Uh, vote one for Miss Morrigan. If they're going to die, we might as well get something out of it. Uh, inspect. This is Clarence. He seems to be resting on his bed. Still want to take this teddy bear. I keep saying I'm not allowed to. One day I hope it will let me take bear. Oh, old man isn't in his room. We can snoop. Oh, we can finally use the lift. The lift has gone down. And I am making a save because I feel like it would let me jump down the lift and die. Down the lift shaft. You've gotten shafted. Prudent saving. Uh, look... 
in shaft. The elevator seems to be downstairs. Can we now take the cannon when he's not there? Because <laughs> earlier it said that we couldn't take it because he Did would notice it? it was gone. Take cannon. No, he would notice if it was gone. And he'd blame the outsider. Can we inspect it? So the fire has gone out and now it's just like smoldering ember logs, which is... Inspect cannon. Same as before, it's a miniature replica of the cannon from the Spanish-American War, rendered in pewter and wood. Look in cannon? That sounds like it's going to kill us. Look in... It's a miniature replica, it can't kill us, surely. You see a tarnished brass key hidden inside the barrel of the cannon. Take key? You remove the key from the barrel of the cannon and take it with you. I don't think I would have ever found that. It's simply because the cannon has separate text. But like... We can look at vase. Okay, that one's not a good example. Plant. Not a good example either. Undermining my Precisely. argument. Precisely. <laughs> Precisely making my argument. What about Thank the cat? You. Here we go. Look at cat. There we go. That doesn't mean that the cat is magically part of the solution to something. Okay, no, but try taking the cat. Take cat. It doesn't belong to you. Just like we couldn't take Precisely. the cat. Precisely. No, but that had a different sort of thing, because usually they tell us that it doesn't belong to us. Okay. He would notice if it was gone isn't just the generic, it's not mm -hmm. yours, don't touch it, you don't know where it's been. It's a re very weak indication that something is with the cannon. Something is different, yeah. Okay. I pay that. That's true. Mm, where do we need a tiny key? We Can don't we know look it. at the key? Uh, yeah, inspect key. Well, I was hoping for a tag or anything, but... Yes. Uh... We need a, uh... We need a Crimson Manor-style book that says the key that's shaped like this gives you access to this wing. Mm-hmm. Wait, where is the elevator? It's down here. We can step in without... Or do you think this means the lift isn't here? I, I just looked... It doesn't, doesn't look like it's there. It looks like it's further down. It looks like there's a basement. Oh, currently you don't see an elevator. Just an elevator shut. But no, but I can stand here and then I don't fall down. If there was a because basement... you're standing on top of it. There'd be a rope. Right? There'd be a rope here. The, the text said that the elevator was down. We are down. The elevator's still not there. Maybe there's an up? Oh, there was a locked room! Locked room in the attic! Now the elevator is back here. What? <laughs> but he's- the elevator's back here, but the old man isn't back here. Can we use the elevator? And now it's gone again. You should have used it when you had it! <laughs> what? There we go. Yeah. 
You don't have it. Use elevator. Ride elevator. Take elevator. Press button. Uh, look inside elevator. Look around. If you specify it as the elevator. It's odd to see a newfangled elevator in this old fashioned house, but how else could the Colonel get up and down the stairs? How is this elevator teleporting around the house without someone to... That is so weird. Yeah. It just keeps going up and down. Uh, and you were suggesting that this door... That key might open this door up here. That's the only red time I remember us uh, hearing about the Use door that was locked. key on door. You don't have a key that unlocks this door. I agree. It was the only thing that we could think of that is locked. And yet... No, unless, no. unless the key goes in the elevator? Mm. Can try. I mean, it's a far fetch, but... It's we can't find a button or anything. Use key on elevator. What do you want to do with the brass key? Well, you don't Use tell us that we d we're on elevator. the wrong track, at least. With the key? No. What if I use key with use door with key? Oh god, I fell off here again. I've been doing pretty well at dodging that. Come on. Uh, do we have the key? We do not, so we've got to go do... Inspect cannon, take key. Yep. Open door with key. It is locked from the other side. Hmm. Even though we can clearly see a keyhole. And then the elevator is the only thing I can think of that would have anything to do with the key. Also, where's Doggo gone? Hmm? Where's the Doggo gone? We haven't seen Doggo in a long time. Oh, there he is. He's back in his house. Hello, Doggo. He's always been in the house. We're trying to get him out of the house. <laughs> is Seely in her own house now? Oh my god. You don't open the door, you knock on the door. Just a second. What do you want? Be polite. Show Seely Monocle. I ain't got time right now for that. 
does she know about where the key belongs? <laughs> I've done her to get one word answers every time. Show Sealy Key. No. It is nice to know where she is when she's disappeared, though. She is in her house. We just didn't realise that we had to knock on the door. Uh, could you make a save with the bell tower? I just want to see if there's any way we can pull that rope from the side without dying. You might be caring about where you stand when you start the slow down. Yeah. Pull rope with cane. You are not close enough. Is there a sweet spot? There is! Phew! That was close. Inspect bell. Hmm, what's attached to the bell? Some sort of old metal crank. Take crank. You're not close enough. Take crank. Okay, thinking it might be useful, you remove the crank from the bell and take it with you. Inspect crank. What is needed a crank? The well didn't work. Oh, and can we... Can we take the... Uh, and, and to be clear, I don't... I do not at all suggest that any people do this to their real horses. Can we take the wet hay and give it to the horse? No, you don't want to carry around soggy hay. Because that's how you get your horse's um, colic. Like, severe stomach illness. I had... All the place we've used the crank is at the fountain, but I think we kind of did that. I had... A... My pony, when I was like nine, died of colic, actually. But not from rotting food, just old age colic. Not, not a mistreatment colic. Okay. Uh, use well with crank. Use crank on well. No. Hmm. Yeah, the only other person that, or place that nearly wanted a crank, as you said, was the, um, the fountain nymph thing, but we found the, the lever for that. Yeah. Mm. Is there anything in our inventory that we could possibly go together? Because we haven't like, explored that possibility as far as a point and click. We have not started rubbing items on each other. Use cane with crank. I don't think it's that kind of point and click though. I just want to try the monocle with say uh what did we, else did we have? Monocle oil can poker crowbar notebook and pencil five crackers brass key crank cane and handkerchief. Try handkerchief. Handkerchief and crank? Or no, monocle, monocle and hunk, monocle on hank on handkerchief. Use handkerchief. Maybe Laura needs glasses. Monocle. No, just ask what do you want to do with the uh, clean. You used it opposite though. With handkerchief. 
I meant use the monocle to inspect the handkerchief. Okay, I thought you meant use the handkerchief to clean the monocle. No, um, no, 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 no. No. Um, look at with monocle. Oh my god. Look at handkerchief with monocle. You carefully yes. examine the wild handkerchief using Wilbur's monocle, much like a magnifying glass. What's this? You see a small EP in one corner of the white trim white lace trim. Ethel But she married into this family, which is Uh Pruin. She's her her She's, maiden um, name? Okay. No, no, no. That's her uh, married name. Oh, she's the sister and she's married out. Yeah. Okay. Well. Oh, we can show her open. the handkerchief, but she doesn't... Isn't she just wandering around not doing anything? I have trouble believing that she's the murderer. I don't think I. No, I think she was just wandering drunk and around and dropped her handkerchief, but maybe she saw something. Wait for her to come back here. Go, Ethel. Handkerchief. She doesn't care about it. <gasps> Is she drunk? Is there anything else we can use the monocle on then? Uh, if it good, works as a magnifying yeah, glass. Good question. Um, oil can, poker, crowbar, notebook, crackers, brass key. The brass key might have a hint of what it belongs with. Uh, and the crow... No, not the crowbar. The poker was used as a potential murder weapon. You examine it with a monocle but don't see anything interesting. Look at... You want a crowbar? No, the poker, not the crowbar. Poker. With... Sorry. With... Monocle. You examine the entire fireplace poker with the monocle. Oh ho! There are traces of blood on it. So we, the outsider, are walking around with a, <laughs> the murder weapon. I swear it wasn't us. In fairness, no one's believed us when we've said, He's dead, he's dead. <laughs> the perfect crime! <laughs> if we walk around saying, This person's dead, and everyone says, I don't believe it, and then later, She had the murder weapon all along. Maybe we can trigger something different by showing you now. Show and her chief to... He's wearing a pink feather bow as well. Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not mine. I mean, it's pretty obvious they were her feathers. No one else has a feather boa so far. Oh, I thought, uh, I thought Drunken Lady also had one. Who? Ethel? You think Ethel has one? Does she? I thought Ethel had that, like, a boa scarf around her neck while she was wandering around drunk, but I could be wrong. Dun 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 Okay, she'll come back here eventually. No, she has her pearls, and she has a grey scarf, or like a brownie... Mmm, it's just the rest of her outfit is pink, and that's what's uh, gotten me confused. Now, what do we get you? If we still had the bone, we could try and offer the... <laughs> Horses don't like bones. Um... What if it's a chain reaction? If we had bone, dog would move. Something would be in doghouse that we could feed horse. You think we've zorked ourselves? Mm, 
I can we hope not. pick flowers? I mean, they would eat flowers. Or pick grass. You could pick up handfuls of grass. Horses would eat grass. Mm, we're also told that there's a plantation. One of these screens said plantation, didn't it? Um, there's uh, some vegetables next to the chicken coop. That was a biplane. I think. Oh, there are vegetables next to the chicken coop? I was thinking, like, one of these screens when we had to look around. Behind it, you notice the remnants of the plantation's mm -hmm. fields. Grr, take... Plant. Take... Crop. Vegetables near the chicken coop. On it. No, I, I, that's the same sort of thing. It's just the crop in the background. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just looking at the map, and it has that sort of fenced-in crop Take area. Crop. No. And I don't think we've found a way to get in there anyway. No. This is still locked off. Mm. Horses actually don't mind... Don't mind bread or carrots, but the... Open fridge. Maybe it will have a different thing in it now. Open refrigerator. Nope, nothing is in there. Open freezer. Same thing. But there was someone in the background walking past now. Yeah. Open cupboard. Open drawers. Open oven? Oven? Yeah, we could steal the half-baked bread. <clears throat> there is nothing in the stove or oven. Where did she hide the bread that she was making? Yeah, she's, she's cooking it in her own house. Hmm. Now I'm going to want to test every single flower that we can't. Take flowers. What if we show you the poker? Show poker to Gloria. You've already shown me that. And Fifi? How about if we hit you with a poker? Satisfying, but... Oh! Act 4. Oh! 10 o'clock. This is so painfully slow by modern standards. It was seven acts, wasn't it? Eight? Was it eight? Okay. Oh, stop, stop, leave me alone, get out of my room. You'll regret that, you little vixen. And she goes to sleep. Show Fifi Poker. <laughs> she, sh she immediately goes to sleep. Doesn't even hop under the covers. Stab Fifi with poker? Oh. She's gone. I tried, Resty. I tried to come back here and stab her, and, well, the game just won't, won't have it. Hmm. 
That one is in here. Can we find the elevator again? No one is in. Let me check these, and I want to check the uh, side rooms, and then I will do that, yes. Because we found a cane in the side room. Before between time skips. True. Pull. Cupboard. Was that the doctor's cane? Yeah, I think so. Pull. Cupboard. Is that something? Pick up or look at floor. Look like a bullet. Someone dropped an old cigar butt. Oh. Take cigar. You pick up the cigar butt. Look at cigar with monocle. You don't find anything interesting. Show Henry Poker. Show Henry Butt. <laughs> Get that old thing out of here. Uh, look at Cigar Butt. The Colonel smokes a small... Nasty smelling cigar. Yes, he's obviously not a butt man. Doesn't want to look. Well, at... it doesn't go on forever and ever, so. It's a perfect time for our emote. Oh my god. Look at her butt. It's just so bright and big. It just goes on forever. That was too perfect. Uh, the lift is here again. What do you want us to do with the lift? Go into it, but he's there now, so I'm no. not sure we can. No, he doesn't let us. Oh, well, then we'll never know. No! No! Yeah, not a fan of these. These where you have to walk like that, and they put a... So where are we back here? We we haven't done the bell. There. No, that feels like it's actually too close. Slow down. Pull. Rope with cane. Again. Look out, it's falling. Oof, that was close. Let's be back up. Uh, inspect bell. Take crank. Take crank. Uh, inspect poker with monocle. And then it was go to Fifi's room. Uh, no, it was also inspect handkerchief with monocle. Ah. Did we do that already? Oh, Before the set? And kerchief with monocle. Is the elevator there now, though? No, it's, it's upstairs. If we do the act back and out, that's what would have made it appear. Oh, you want us to just enter and exit the room until it maybe is here? Uh... Since we apparently lose access to it in Act 4. No, it's... Oh, what okay. if I go upstairs? You know what? Because we are coming up to the deadly, the deadly part of the balcony. There you go. Now, what do you want? Okay. Um. 
Oh, how to phrase it? How to phrase Use it? Uh, we no, we, we looked. Um, we looked in elevator. Inside Did we elevator. look for button? You see the elevator control on the <laughs> elevator. You have to do look inside elevator. Okay. You see the elevator control. Uh, press control. Up or down? Press up. up. It won't move. Press down. Okay, so it won't move. Um, oh, it moved. Press down. No. So we can ride it up or down, but it doesn't. There's no. There's no attic and there's no lift, um, despite what both of us wanted. No, but can we then just double check? Use key on panel. Use key on panel. Inspect. No, it was look inside. Elevator. Use key on control. Use control with key. Oh, Use um... control with key up. <laughs> no. Use key on panel? No. Uh, pull cupboard, sorry. Grab the cigar butt that we... Wasn't it there? Maybe it was the downstairs one? Maybe it moves with... Uh, oh saves. god, no. Oh god, no. Block. No. <laughs> if the body can move, then so can that. Oh, okay. We've got to keep our eye out for a cigar butt. Pull mirror. Yeah. Okay, the pixel hunt begins. Red and white cigar butt. Oh, apparently you smelled panel wrong. Alright. Dun 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 dun. I would very easily pay that I'd spelt it wrong. Use key with panel. Use key with panel. You unlock panel with key? Unlock panel with key. You do not have the right key to unlock it. Inspect panel. Even though you know where it is, you can't see it. Look at panel. Look at panel with monocle. No. Could we then try unlock door with key if apparently unlock was the magic word? The Fifi's one? The one yeah. by Fifi's... Sure. Because this one tells us at least at that point when we use the word unlock that we have the wrong key. You have the right verb, but the wrong noun. You don't have the key that unlocks this door. Okay. Right. Oh, and it doesn't seem mm -hmm. to care that we didn't see the, um... We didn't pick up the... Cigar butt. Hmm. 
It was after Act 4. Okay, I thought it was before. So she slaps him. Then she goes to sleep. He tries to kiss her. She slaps him. Get out of my room. You'll regret that, you little vixen. She goes to sleep. We save rather than falling off the balcony. And we check if the cigar thing is here now. Chat was right. It is here again. Maybe we got lucky. Uh, look at floor. Pick up cigar. Look at cigar. Inspect cigar with monocle. Save. Done. Okay. Um now what? We've it's time has just passed, so we need to reinspect every room and every location. These all seem about the same. Yes. What about these two? There's absolutely no one. Where is everyone? Things look suspicious here. You can see pieces of a broken record on the floor by the Victrola, and a small pile of pink feathers near it. Look at floor. Pick up record. As you bend down to retrieve the largest piece of broken record, you notice some spots of mud on the rug. Inspect rug with monocle. There are many old and unusual rugs here. The Inspect dirt? Inspect mud with monocle. So we came in here, there was a broken record. We picked up the broken record bits and it told us there was some mud uh, on the rug. I said, look at rug. Rug did nothing. The muddy spot looks like a partial footprint. Uh, inspect feathers. A small pile of pink feathers looks terribly suspicious. Could they have come from Gloria's feather boa? And then he comes in and cleans it up. My theory that it's the old man and the butler is helping him is becoming more and more sound. Uh, show Fifi she's awake now. Poker. It is of no interest to me. Show Fifi broken. Broken record is the newest thing. Show Fifi broken record. I don't want to look at it. Polly, it's a new act. Does the does the songbird have new information for us? Sing, my pretty. Give Polly cracker. Ark. I'll teach her. Ark, she can't break up with me. Okay, 
So maybe she was killed by the lawyer man. And we're going to find her body next. Based on this. Or was this the... Did we oversee that as a conversation? I don't think we, we did. Saw... We did. So that's the same. Uh, that was the um, that was the conversation with Rudy and the um, and the, the lawyer. Okay. About... So Polly has not earned a um. No, but Polly has earned her treat. Really? It. Yeah, we we haven't gotten that message from Polly, but we did overhear the conversation. Okay. Give. Polly, cracker then. I'm not so mean as to deny you your cracker if you're actually giving us new information, bird. Even if it's new information that we already knew. So there's no one here, there's no one in the kitchen. Yep, let's inspect Jeeves's. Dog is still here. It's locked. Use key on cellar. Open cellar with key. No. Hmm. Unlock was the word last time. Unlock cellar with key. You don't have the right key. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh! That looks like the lawyer's running away. Oh wow, she's knitting. Hello. Uh, show broken record to Sealy. I don't want to look at that. And good God, the birds now squeak constantly. Cigar butt. Show cigar butt. To Sealy. Land a Goshen, Missy. Why would you want that smelly old thing? Can I go in your house now? Open door. Knock on door. Why would you do that? She's right here. So he went this way, but there's, um... This just leads to mm -hmm. the alligators and the bridge that you can't cross. Hmm. Inspect bridge. No, it's not like there's somewhere that we can put the crank in the bridge and cause the bridge to somehow change. Hmm. You inspected the mud with the monocle. Did you inspect the records? No, I haven't yet. Uh, inspect record with broken record. <clears throat> with monocle. Squinting into the monocle, you carefully examine the piece of broken record. Closely situated to each other, you find two different fingerprints. Can we actually see what they are? How am I meant to... How am I meant to know what fingerprints they are if you're not going to give me the full zoomed in fingerprint? It's just a... just a tease. Boo! Oh. Gloria is lying very still upon the gazebo floor. On closer inspection, it's clear that someone has strangled Gloria with her own feather boa. Save.
inspect Gloria. He was strangled with her feather boa. Look at Gloria with monocle. She was also strangled by her feather boa. Take feather boa. It's too <laughs> tightly knotted around her neck. Search the body again? Search body. Nervously, you examine Gloria's body and confirm that she was indeed viciously strangled with her feather boa. The feather boa, the feather boa, the feather boa, the feather boa. See, I don't think she was strangled with a feather boa. They're selling it too hard. She was boa constricted. Clap, 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 Dora Niku. Ooh. Time has passed. These two look like they're going to have a sh pistol shoot off to me. Get out I'm of my sight, Joe. I was supposed to notice that the gun was gone. No, you get out of my sight. Then they start fifty cuffsing. Don't you mess with me. Stay out of my way. You ain't heard the last of me. I'll get you for this. Is Lillian still in the dollhouse? No, can we take the teddy bear? No, it doesn't belong to you. Yeah, I wanted grass with two S's. You can't take the grass. I was hoping we could take handfuls of grass to feed to the horse. It wouldn't be so easy as this is actually food. So trying all the various iterations on pick up, get, etc. for the hay. And it says you don't want to carry hay around. Maybe if you pat the horse first, it likes you. No, it still seems like it's an angry horse. And we'll try. We'll pat him again. Save and see if the horse continues to crush us. Yes, it does. <sighs> does music tame the beast? I don't have any way of making music. Time has passed again. Ethel is still wandering around outside drunk. <laughs> and time passes again when we move into the house. Wow. I don't know about you, but I did not feel we got a lot of clues in Act 4. Uh, I feel like we got enough clues beforehand to know that she was murdered by the ex-boyfriend. That seems the most reasonable. Oh, yes, but everyone? 
The question is, is this going to be like Laura Bow 2, where at the end there's a like, the police inspector comes and you're expected to say, I think this person killed this person at this place with this thing, and here is my evidence for it. That's what I'm wondering. Probably. Probably. Oh, Laura, you startled me. Go, Lillian, broken record. I could I'll be right back. Care less, sure. Show Lillian cigar butt. Yep, that's one of Uncle Henry's cigars. Mmm. Hmm. Uh, tell linear, uh, show, it's show, show, no, it's tell, isn't it? Tell Lillian about Gloria. I've already told you there's nothing there. She doesn't think Gloria is dead. There's no hidden items in those two secret passages. <gasps> Hello, Rudy. Show Rudy broken record. No, it went forward by 15 mins, Dewalkie. Uh, there we go. Time moved forwards 15 more minutes when we came into this room. Oh dear. Time is absolutely rocketing along. So it's 11.15. I think so. That's, uh, so it was here. There's nothing in the horse. We went here. Yeah. That's quarter to eleven. What an interesting collection of weapons. And then, oh, you've startled me. I tried telling her about all the various new things and she didn't want to know about any of them. She didn't even believe us that Gloria is, um, dead. Of course and not. Then I... <laughs> I came in here and time... This is different. Oh my. Je Jeeves and Fifi. What if we confront them? Tell Jeeves about Fifi. It's not my business to gossip with house guests. What about you? Tell Fifi about Jeeves. I love his strong arms. Uh, check the fridge for food again. Uh, 
I'm sure it let me use fridge before. No, it never made let you use fridge. It was a refrigerator. Freezer. Freezer. Freezer? It let me use one thing that wasn't the full word for refrigerator once. Because I definitely didn't tap the full word out. Hmm. Let's see. Refrigerator, fridge. I mean, if you want to go really old, ice box. Yeah, I, I tried that uh, at some stage. Open ice box. There's nothing in there. So no food for the horse or bones for the dog. No, the cellar is locked. Gloria's body is gone. Should probably check the cubby house first. No. Not unless dolls have changed. Nope. We're still trying to find food. Food for the horse so that we can get the lamp to shove down the well and find out what's happening with the well. These are still locked. Nothing new in here. Ghost garden? No, that looks normal. She looks normal. waiting for the time when that chandelier is just gonna fall. I was very surprised it didn't kill us. Uh, cupboard. Full cupboard, sorry. Nope. What about this one? Nope. These were both empty. These are everyone is there's no one. There's no one anywhere. But we're now back in Act oh, Four, right? Here we go. This is Act Five now. Are we in Act Five? Didn't you go back? It transitions when you enter into the house and then you find the sister looking through the weapons okay. cupboard. Okay. Uh, I'm losing track. Lillian. Well, there you are again, Laura. You're not following me, are you? 
I don't see anything different in here. She didn't care about us showing her anything when we tried it in the other room. I don't know why she would now. No, oh, I'm a bit bamboozled. Hmm. Have you done the full sweep outside? I feel like yes, but we can do it again. So the rose garden, you went in there. Yup. So here, hmm. thing different. Save. I didn't do these two areas. In fairness, I didn't do the uh, left and right of the. Didn't do the gator zone. Of here. Where we have been eaten by an alligator like that before. Makes me feel smug for saving. No, we're just not allowed that way at the moment. What about the other way? We are allowed this way. But there's nothing here. Now if I try and go left, will the alligator still get me? No! <laughs> okay... Oh, it's the next screen now the alligator will get me. So it doesn't want me to go left there. Nothing. Nothing. What? I remember that transitioning when I walked into the... I feel so confused. Oh, that was in Act 5. I think we had entered Act 5 during this save. Vindicated! Yay! Midnight. These people... Well, Drunk Aunt is awfully active for midnight. No 11, change. not midnight. Was that one midnight? I'm not... I'm not gonna load to check it up, but... As here. Oh no! This is dreadful. Poor Ethel has been hit over the head and killed. Something terrible is going on around here and you suddenly feel a cold fear spreading ominously through your body. Search body. I am not close enough. Search body. You fearfully search Ethel's body and find that she was indeed killed by a terrible hit on the head. That's it. There's not very many people left available to kill her. <sighs> Look at the paddles. We can't get up to the paddles, though. We haven't looked at the anchor, this is true. An anchor hangs on the walls. Can't see any oars. Is it ELS? No. Okay, so now we need to tell someone about Ethel. And then no one's gonna believe us again? <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> you think at one point they would start believing us. It's like, yeah, it's right. We haven't seen any of these five people in a while. For four hours now, you've been saying every hour someone has dead, and we've never seen any of them after the fact. Here we go. This is what happened before. He was in here eating this. Uh, tell Rudy about Ethel. She's probably just passed out. The best thing to do is leave. At least that's consistent with his position that, um, she's a drunkard. Mm-hmm. Um, could you check the weapons cabinet in the study, by the way, that we saw Lily and fiddle around with to see if anything is missing? We can. Maybe she stole the boomerang. Used it to kill her mother. No. Indeed, just pining for the fjords. Uh, the colonel's weapon, there's a boomerang, the steel cutlass, a pearl-handled dagger, a mace, and an antique crossbow. Yeah, everything's still there. I think that was everything, yeah. It is. We can check the case for the Derringer. Yep, it's still there. We can look in the cupboard for the rifles. Yep, it's still there. Just searching for dropped items. Here we go. <clears throat> now it's a new act, so we can ask Polly for new information. Oh. 11.30 already? Save. Can we investigate his cigar? Uh, you want to show him the cigar? We've, we've, we've tried looking at the cigar with the monocle. Uh, no, I meant his. He's smoking now. I don't know that that will count as a thing. Okay, that's just that. That's a big cigar. That doesn't really give anything. That's a big cigar. And that's a big cigar. Uh, give. Polly Cracker. Jeeves, kiss me again. Ork. So this is what we saw before that the maid and Jeeves are... Well, she's playing everyone, basically. Um, tell... Clarence about Gloria. You're starting to go too far with these stories, young lady. Show Clarence cigar butt. That's not my cigar butt. So it's nothing, 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 nothing in these back, back rooms. He doesn't want us to talk to him about it. We could check if Jeeves' rooms is open again suddenly. And it is. He's getting dressed <gasps> flowers 
The flowers don't belong to you. Look at flowers. You notice a lovely bouquet of flowers on Jeeves's bed. You have a feeling you know who these will be the, who will be the recipient of these flowers. Hmm. I'd hope to take them and feed them to the horse, but no such luck. Can't get in the way for romance. I can, if it helps me feed the horse and get the lamp that lets me look down the well <sighs> that ate the cat that killed the dog that lives in the house that whoever built. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Here's Fifi upstairs. Yes. Oh my! Close. Nope. Uh, what if we ask her about Jeeves now? Last time she said his big, his big arms. Most of the time, I feel that he is the only one who understands me. So maybe Jeeves is the real love interest and everyone else is, you know, just doing what you have to do in the household. Show Fifi. No, it's the other way around. Show broken record to Fifi. So. Lillian has moved. She's not on her bed. Fifteen to twelve. Darn it. But Uncle Henry, I don't understand how you could... What are you doing in here, Laura? Oh, we're meant to watch it from the um, secret room. Pull cupboard. Look through eyes. What are you? Why are you treating me this way, Uncle Henry? You don't care how I feel. I don't matter to you anymore. You matter to me the same as everyone else does. No more and no less. I don't understand. I thought I was special. I thought you cared for me more than for Gloria or Rudy or any of the others. You're right. You thought that, but you were wrong. What about when I used to come and visit you? You were like a father to me. How can you be like this now? I'm afraid you misunderstood. I was just trying to help my sister. To me, you were just her insecure, whiny kid. I won't hear any of this, you're lying, Uncle. Someone's behind it, and I just know it. I intend to find out who it is. Au revoir, Uncle Henry. Mmm. So she thinks he's being put up to it. Hmm. Do we do another sweep and find another murder? Not in this act, I would imagine. We already found a body this act. 
already found poor Ethel. She didn't do anything wrong. I mean, she was a drunkard, but she wasn't hurting anyone. What's the conflict with Ethel anyway? Oh yeah, Ethel didn't want to sell um, the land to Clarence. Where else would there... Hmm. Beefy's preparing for a date night with Jeeves. Jeeves is in various states of undress. You in your house? is I ain't got time for that right now That looks the same. That all looks the same. Still haven't found a source of hay for you. The body has been disposed of, but that's normal once you move more than one screen away. Usually there's something you're supposed to notice in the place where the, um... Where the Have body you checked is. the crock pots again? Maybe from the safety of the inside of the fence, though. I haven't. It does sort of feel like there should be something here to notice. Everything else has had, like, directly outside of it or in the room a thing. Mm. The poker, the feathers, the feathers, the cigar True. butt. This but the cigar been... butt was pretty far away though, wasn't it? I think the cigar butt is, um... So what do we have? We actual, actual things in the rooms. We had feathers, feathers, there was cigar smell, and the plant, mm -hmm. for, for the oldest lady. Murder one. The doctor. The doctor didn't have anything. The doctor had the the poker with the blood. Uh, had feathers. Right, but not, had not the magazine. On him. That was several screens away. That was where he was probably killed before he was moved, and He's... then where he was moved, there was nothing besides his monocle that we got. And then Gloria has feathers and broken record. Okay, so no, there's several people where they're murdered in a room and then moved. Yeah, so maybe she wasn't murdered here. So we have to find where she was murdered. 
There's a rolling pin lying on the ground. Take rolling pin. You notice a muddy footprint. Inspect footprint. No. Wet monocle. Inspect, yeah. Footprint with monocle. I'm not close enough. Using Wilbur's monocle as a magnifying glass, you carefully examine the muddy impression and see that it is definitely a boot print. Ah, there, on the sole is the insignia of an eagle. That's so, a good clue. Now we have to surreptitiously ask everyone to look at their boots. Uh, oh, we can show everyone the rolling pin. Not that they'll believe us. <laughs> Jeeves, we're getting changed. Were his boots on? Good question. Jeeves is the Colonel's imposing butler. Though you find him somewhat good-looking, he nevertheless gives off a disconcerting feeling of secretiveness. You've noticed that he generally keeps to himself and seems to talk a little more in sorry, to talk in a little more than monosyllables. You wonder about him. But I don't see any like boots on the floor. And it won't let us open any of his cupboards. Hmm. Anything new in any of the hidden passageways? When did we last check those? Feel like I've done them, but it doesn't hurt to do again. Considering that that's where we would perfume. find those or something. There was the aroma of perfume. Okay. But there aren't any women left. Lillian is left. Fifi. Lillian and Fifi. Yeah. All of the old women are dead. No, um, the cook. Oh, yeah. But, like, the family members. I don't think the well, cook... Well, yes. The cook is gonna... Maybe, maybe the cook gets killed. I don't think she stands to inherit. Um, I mean, if we suspect Fifi, then we might as well inspect the cook as well, so... There's nothing happening. There's nothing happening. So no, nothing in either of those. Well, maybe the smell of perfume is a, a flag. Hmm. Uh, you, let's show you the rolling pin. It's of no interest to me. What about the cook? Because it's nominally... No, she's the cook. She's in charge of the rolling pins. Maybe she will confirm that it is at least her rolling pin.
No, not interested. So what have we got? We've got a crank that we don't know what it gets used on. We've got a key that we don't know what it gets used on. We've got to find a way to feed the horse. We had a lot of dead ends. <laughs> we, we can't do. seem to make progress on. Well, that's what we meant to say. Trying to micro around too quickly. Will the alligator get me if I go twice left? No. But there's... There's nothing here. Can we confront ah. the colonel about the conversation we had? The alligator gets me on the way back. Uh, about Lillian? Talk to yeah. Colonel about Lillian? Yeah, tell Colonel about Lillian, I guess it is, because confirming that we know something. Oh! He's now not... Time is passing. Act six, 12 o'clock. And he is now more suspicious because that's he's, an empty wheelchair. He's, yeah, he's not in his wheelchair. Or he's been murdered and his body's not in the room like the others. Mm -hmm. Also a possibility. Look at floor, look at wheelchair. Hmm, the colonel's wheelchair sits empty in the middle of the room. Investigate? <clears throat> Investigate it in addition to looking at it? Just to get a bit yeah, same. more into And if we look at it with the monocle? <clears throat> you got to spell it properly. No. And now the chair has disappeared. We didn't go two rooms away, though. Normally you have to go two rooms away. Mm -hmm. When did we last check the bathroom? I'm sorry. Hmm? Time passed again. 12.15. Clarence is sitting writing in his room. But yeah, uh, when did we last time check the waste pa um... It's been a while. In the waste paper basket. Mm -hmm. A small empty bottle has been thrown into the waste paper basket. So, 
drunk lady was presumably in here? Depends on what bottle it is. It's the only clue we've had for where her whereabouts is that there's a bottle here. Can we pick up the bottle? Uh, pick up bottle. We can. You read its label. Dr. Milliken's Miracle Sleep Powder. With Dr. Milliken's, you can be sure your dreams will be sweet tonight. Upon further inspection of the label, you notice some very small print at the bottom. Though you try to read it, you can't quite make it out. Giving it up, you put the bottle back in the waste... Inspect bottle. Take bottle. No, you just keep putting it back. Okay, so... Inspect bottle with monocle. You read the small print of the sleeping powder bottle. It says, can be fatal if taken in too large a dose. Oh! That doesn't make sense to be how the... But everyone hasn't died that way yet. We've had strang no. we've had strangled, clubbed, clubbed, thrown out a window, and stabbed with a poker. Oh, well, let's see who's left. We found Clarence. He's in his room. Uh, we haven't found Lillian. We haven't found yep. Fifi and Jeeves. Okay, we can. And we haven't Lillian. found a Colonel. I just tried to pursue the thing you wanted. Um, <laughs> half twelve. Lillian is in her room. Nothing seems out of place here. Neither there. We can check if Jeeves and Fifi are in their respective rooms. <gasps> What's happening around here? You have discovered poor oh, Fifi yeah. and Jeeves lying dead on the floor with their spilled drinks nearby. You don't like the look of this at all. Okay. It's been a double murder. Yeah. They were both killed using sleep powder in their drinks, presumably. Mm-hmm. And the flowers are up here. Can you now take the flowers? It would be better to leave them alone. Can you look at the decanter? Uh, I was going to do the bodies, but yes. A strange white powder is collected in the bottom of the cognac decanter. With monocle? Bending over the cognac decanter with... You carefully examine it with the monocle. Yes, here are two clear fingerprints. Which it doesn't actually give us. I don't know what this... Maybe there is an evidence stage and you're meant to be like, there are fingerprints on the monocle, on the, on the things later. Uh, inspect body. It is not readily apparent how Jeeves and Fifi died. There are no wounds of any kind on their bodies. Search bodies. You thoroughly examine their bodies, but cannot determine how they might have died. You are very puzzled. No, we're not. This is this is one that we actually understand. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. But they seem also to have died like the bodies hasn't been moved. If you are go you... back up, are the bodies gone? Yes. 
Even though we only came okay. here. So it must have been moved by people using the top. The top, um, this door. Is the only door that makes sense with that. Mm-hmm. Uh... Can we spy on the others in the secret passageway? Yeah, let's do that. So pull, cupboard. Lillian or Clarence first? Either. Lillian. Lillian is writing in a book which she apparently keeps locked in her suitcase. Dear Diary, today I murdered Jeeves and Fifi. <laughs> we can only hope. It would be an easy, easy case in that case. Clarence is also writing at his desk. But that's it. Uh, tell, tell Henry about Fifi. Stop it with your stories, I've had enough. Uh, tell Henry about wheelchair? T ask Henry about wheelchair? I wouldn't know about it. Tell Henry about wheelchair. Oh yes, Henry with an I. They are pseudo French after all. Who cares? I mean, it's kind of a big deal if you can suddenly move around without your wheelchair. That changes things. See if he monologues. We spy on him. No, he just smokes. And that room had no one alive in it anymore. Yeah. Had we asked Polly about new? We have not. Not this act. Give Polly a cracker. <clears throat> Ork, I can't find her. Ork, where's Gloria? So the brother Brother couldn't find Gloria, presumably. It's not like we have tried to tell him that he's she's yeah, dead. She's dead. Stop telling us stories. Everything still looks to be... The cupboard is open. The cupboard is indeed open. What's missing? The leaded glass cabinet is wide open. You peek inside. Not surprisingly, part of the Colonel's weapons collection is housed here. You see an Australian boomerang, a steel cutlass, a mace, and an antique crossbow. The dagger with a something on its pearl pommel. handled pearl handled dagger. Pearl handled dagger is missing. Thank you and your note keeping. Mm-hmm. You know what this means? Can finally check the doghouse! 
We can check the dog house. Woo. 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 And this is when the dog teleports back to the dog house when we're not looking at him. Guaranteed. Or there's just nothing there. Absolutely nothing there. It's been a red herring. Mm-hmm. You're really giving me time to get back to the doghouse, huh? I should have gone through the house in retrospect. Um... It's empty. Hmm. Nothing in the doghouse. Hmm. Uh, is Jeeves, uh, a part Still getting well, dressed? No, he's dead now. Yes, oh. but is there anything we could now go and snoop when he's dead? It's locked. You try opening the cellar door, but it is locked. Unlock. And you don't have the correct key. Hmm. Well, the only person we haven't seen then is um, um, the cook. Okay, we'll go out to her her house. Not doof. Knock on door. Ah, and it did trigger the next thing. No! Act 7. So only, only one more after this, I think. Or if you're right about the number, this is the final one. I can't remember what it, the manual said. I thought it said 8, but... It could very well be eight. It, it did seem like at the start of the episode you were... Yeah, eight acts. You were more memorable on your manual things than me. Eight? Okay. What are you doing yeah. here, girl? Can't you feel the evil in the air? There's something real bad around here, and I'm staying put in my cabin behind locked doors. Get yourself back to your room, you hear. So she says go to our room. Do we listen? I'm going to say yes. And this is when Lillian's dead. If she's sending us to our room, it only makes sense that... Lillian is dead. Mm, highly likely. I don't really like the idea of our friend being dead. Tragic Would you prefer but... that she's the only one alive? That <laughs> she is the murderer. Uh, are those footprints? You can try to look on the floor. No. Can we take the teddy bear that I've never been able to take and I constantly want to take? Oh, her, um, can we open her suitcase and read her not her diary thing? Reading a diary, huh? You notice a diary lying atop her clothes. Okay, so do we take diary? Of course we take the diary. Changing your tune from half a second ago. Take a diary. Okay. Inspect... Diary. Read diary? Upon opening uh, the it's diary... It's locked, isn't it? No. 
Upon opening the diary, you casually notice an ink-stained fingerprint inside the front cover. Curiosity, curiously and a bit guiltily, you scan through the rest of the diary's pages. Nothing much captures your interest until you come to the latest entry. It reads, May 27th. Today, dear diary, I'm so terribly upset. I can't believe Uncle Henry would do this to me. I thought I was like a daughter to him, and now I find out that I'm no more important than any of the other creeps. They can't get away with it, you know. They just can't. Between you and me, diary, they know they have to go. Oh no, sorry. You know they have to go. Because of what they all did to me. I know they were all in it together to have me put away in the nut house. I was never crazy. They just wanted me out of the picture. Now they have to... That's it. The passage ends. Hmm. What could Lillian mean by all this? Can I put it back? Drop diary? Better not, you might need it. Okay, so is other guy still in his room next door here, writing? Uh-oh. A bad feeling comes over you as you look around this room. The small desk chair has been knocked over and you see a fresh blood stain on the rug. Look at floor. You see a fresh blood stain on the rug near the overturned chair. Was it just that I was too far away? No. Look at blood. Not blue. Mm. Read. Or look at table. Some of the tables could use a good dusting. Um. Read. Writing. Read. Book. Time again passes. You notice that just one page has been written on, and it's today's date. May 27th, 1925. Heads it. You read the rest, and it says, I'm terribly apprehensive about what's going on here. I can't say why. Let's just call it a bad sensation. But as the evening wears on, I'm feeling more and more alone. Where's Wilbur? Where's Gertie? Where's Gloria? Could they have left without me? Is there a way to leave the island that I'm not aware of? Still, this spine-tingling feeling won't leave, and frankly, I'm scared. Well, if you would have listened to us, like, six hours ago. When we said that person one is dead, and person two is dead, and person three is dead, and you're just like, no, you're joking. Quit making things up. Um, do you think you're there's anything else anything. we need to look here? Because it doesn't seem to let me... I suppose we could look at the chair. Look at chair. Mm, don't think so. Uh, unless there's something you need to look at with the monocle. Did yep. you check the diary with the monocle? The desk chair has been overturned. We can do that. Uh, read book or inspect a book with monocle. Same thing. Again, just to be sure. Yeah. Uh, inspect blood with monocle. No, nothing, nothing extra there. But the diary. Did we check the diary about it? Oh. Upon opening the diary, you see a small inky fingerprint inside the front cover. You examine it more closely with the monocle. So it gives us her, her fingerprint. If we need to prove her fingers are the ones on the, mm -hmm. um, the decanter, the... With the sleep powder. Seems like that would be useful at one point. If it comes down to fingerprints uh, evidence. 
Now, the only other person alive is the man, I suppose. Him. Henry, yeah. And yet, no. So... Hey, Henry, every one of your relatives are dead. Uh, <clears throat> tell Henry about... Well, actually, we don't know he's dead. There's there's blood and there's no person, but we don't strictly know he's dead. I guess we oh, go also, do... Also, technically, Rudy is also alive. Yes. We go do a sweep of the outside to find another body. Mm-hmm. I'm going to bet they're in this tiny house that's never been. Why is her eye red? That's really freaky. We have visitors, darlings. Sit up straight. She's genuinely been crazy all along. Mm-hmm. Talk. Uh, no, we're not the murderer, True Capitalist. It looks like it's either this girl or the money-grubbing nephew or the old man himself. Or possibly the maid lady, but I don't really think it's the maid lady. Like the um the cook, oh, not, the, not the French, not the French maid lady. Beauregard just wanted a treat and wasn't given to it, so Beauregard went on murder spree. <laughs> That's why we're the only one left alive. We gave him the bone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, actually, Jeeves came and gave him food. Mm -hmm. So. Sure. Do we? Could we even? We could show her the rolling pin. No, she's too involved with her dolls to notice. But the fact that that made time pass means we now have to check everywhere else again. Mm-hmm. Horsey is still here. Nope, that's the same. Nope, that's the same. Did we check the rolling pin for fingerprints? No, actually. I thought she was in her room hiding. So time passes and... Haunting music. Organ music is appropriate for a church, but it's um not exactly a church that would have an organ. Oh, it's not a cutscene. She's dead. Um, inspect body. Ask Seely about Beauregard. She's not listening. Oh, okay. She's visibly frightened and in deep prayer, but she's not actually dead. Okay, so she's alive. <sighs> uh, it was Monocle on Rolling Pin. Yes. Just to, um,. Complete our collection of uh, fingerprints on different weapons. You scrutinize the entire rolling pin with Wilbur's monocle. Aha! You have discovered traces of blood! So no, no fingerprints, but it was the murder weapon. Evidence is evidence.
Rose Garden. Nope, I don't think that's any different. Does she answer? This would be weird if she answered the door while she's here. Okay, can we open this now? Uh, use key on door. Unlock door with key. You don't have the right key to unlock it. I really want to know what that the key, key that was we for. Have unlocked. <laughs> And the crank. <sighs> that said, I've gotten, uh... I can feel my ability to navigate the space has certainly improved over the course of the game. Okay. Uh, did you check the carriage house? No. Nor have we checked the front pier or the side thingamajigs. The other side of the gates that have never had anything except crocodiles eating us. That's where all the bodies disappear. They just feed it to the gators. I so think one of them is in the well. And that we just have somehow missed getting the mm. horse happy and looking in the well. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine how we would get the food for the horse, though. Got no idea either. Maybe the bread that the lady was making. Mm. That's about the only thing that strikes me as... Is it a new act for Polly? Use, not use cracker on Polly. Give. <laughs> you rub a cracker on Polly. <laughs> Polly is very confused. Give <laughs> Polly. I'm totally in um, rub item on item mode. Uh, Sleep tight, my pretties. Ock, in the basement. The basement. <clears throat> but we don't know how to get in the basement. Because it's locked. Uh, what's that on the counter, though? Did I? There is a single glass. Maybe? Inspect counter. You see nothing special. Take glass. You don't need a glass to carry around. Look at room. No, it just tells us about the parrot. Okay, just want to know if there was sleeping powder in that glass as well. Using the same murder weapon twice? No, no. Getting no. desperate. Hmm. Where could a body be then? <gasps> oh no! Someone has broken the glass case and stolen the silver derringer. Oh no! But we still haven't actually found the body. Presumably Rudy is dead, shot by the crazy girl. Highly likely. Uh, in the cupboard? No. Catherine? <laughs> yep, we'll sweep side to side. Check the hidden things as well. No. No. Uh, 
Uncle is also gone. Not great news. Elevator is unavailable. Does it change when we... No, it's it's just... You know, it, it moves when we move in and out of the room at the moment. Okay. Act 8. Rudy is here, which suggests that it must be... But we missed a dead body then. Hmm, I don't like that. I do not like that we missed a dead body. That means that the only place we didn't get to check was the bathroom. He's looking for the girl. Or... The revolver? This is horrendous! <clears throat> now it's Clarence. Someone has killed him by stabbing him in the chest with the dagger. If only there were a way to flee this terrible island. Okay, so... Inspect... Body? It's Clarence. He was stabbed in the chest with a dagger. Take... Dagger. You don't want to touch it. Inspect... Dagger with monocle. The pearl-handled dagger is stuck in his chest. Look at dagger with monocle. Not nah, same thing. So we don't get any fingerprints off of the um mm. off the dagger. Now it's just Uncle Rudy Girl. Uncle is back here, so time passing by causing Rudy to be in this room has brought Uncle back. Okay, so he's still alive. Which presumably means Rudy is the dead one. He's probably the next one up. Unless it's the cook. I can't see her being... I hope she doesn't get murdered. She... Hasn't been terribly helpful, but she hasn't been evil. That could also be said about some of the other people. Mm, who do you think's not, not evil? Well, it wasn't evil. She was drunk, but not evil. Yeah, she's not evil. She's a harmless old lady, but yeah. Fair enough. Also, was really um, Gloria that evil? No, she's just... Didn't she just, just dump Clarence and that Clarence was upset about it? Yeah, she's just a social climber, potentially. Mm -hmm. And that's not even clear. Like, I wouldn't want to be dating Clarence. So, <laughs> you know, I've got nothing <laughs> but sympathy. I don't think anyone would want to date Clarence. <laughs> I've got nothing but sympathy for her there. <laughs> I, I would agree with her dumping Clarence's decision. Can we go behind the bar? Asks chat. Actually, sure. Let me check that. Oh, it's actually the downstairs one. I'm downstairs, bottom right. Not upstairs, bottom right. No. Oh. No, you're you're correct. You can go behind here. These tables could use some dusting. Upon it, you notice an empty glass. Can you inspect glass with monocle? Picking up the glass, you use Wilbur's monocle as a magnifying glass and notice a faint fingerprint. And if I have any remaining crackers, 
seeing as this is the last act, now it's time to give Polly his final cracker. Right? Yeah. Sure. Gotta get the gun! Get the gun! We've managed to feed all animals beside the horse. Shameless, shameless anti-horse emote use time. No. <gasps> Doggo! Wait, is he weeing or does he want me to follow? He just wants you to follow. Oh. Doesn't understand doggo. Pat dog. Doesn't look like he's in a good mood. I think his master might be dead. Follow the. Oh, wait, the note! Meet me in the hedge garden. A gust of wind blows it away. Holly might be the murderer. <laughs> it's all a setup. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Someone has shot Lillian to death in the hedge garden. Quite afraid now. You you fear greatly for your own life. I wasn't expecting Lillian to be the dead. Yeah. The Sylvan, Silver Derringer lies at the ground near her feet. Inspect gun with monocle. Take gun. You pick it up. Your eye happens to fall upon a bullet not far from her hand. I'm still going with inspect. No, look at gun with monocle. You don't see anything interesting. Pick up bullet. Inspect bullet. Nothing. Inspect bullet with monocle. You don't see anything interesting. Search body. <clears throat> With trembling hands, you examine Lillian's body and see the horrible gunshot wound to her chest. What's this? You suddenly find a skeleton key in the pocket of the of the old army cape. Since it may be useful, you take it with you. Inspect body with monocle. You can tell by looking that she died of a gunshot wound to the chest at point blank range. For some reason, she's dressed in an old army officer's cape, hat, gloves, and boots. So... And if we move so on... So do we load the gun? If we... Oh! Uh, use... Put... Bullet... In gun? Okay! Oh my... At least now we can defend ourselves if we need to. Well, do we have the um the Poirot story ending where we maybe should have given them the blank instead? There's no blank though. <laughs> I want to check out her dollhouse. And then check that the cook is still in the in the chapel? Church, yeah. You hear scuffling further upstairs. What? How can there be upstairs in here? What? Maybe it just says that because you're inside the house? I don't know. Yeah, I think you're not meant to come in here. 
I think we're meant to be hearing a fight in the main house. Let's see if yeah. it does it. If we enter here... She's gone. Is she in her own house? <clears throat> Knock on door. Get away from my door. I ain't coming near it. Okay, so she is still alive. Mm-hmm. A cry of pain and anger from inside the old mansion rends the night air. Could we have prevented that? Maybe. Stairs. And let's make a save. This feels like a... Potentially the end end. What's this? Oh, the bag is there. The doctor's bag is on the floor. Look in bag. The contents are a mess. It looks as if someone has hurriedly searched through it. Inspect bag with monocle. Same thing. There's no one here. The wheelchair is, um, noticeably there, though. Mm-hmm. Nope. We can check the bathroom. Wouldn't want to miss the bathroom again. Nope. Nope. Are there upstairs? Nope. Well, we did get that new key. Nope. Unlock door with key. Yup. Open door. What's this? Rudy is standing over the motionless body of Colonel Dijon. He is holding what appears to be a hypodermic needle in his hands. Hiya, kid. Sorry it came to this. There was no other choice. I had to protect myself. The old coot lured me up here. And when he wasn't... When, and when I wasn't looking... up, oh, No. I want to read all that. Thank you. So... You cannot restore the... Tough. You will let me load my save. <laughs> Nothing you can do to stop me. You can't do this right now. Let me load my save game. Um. <laughs> um. There we go. Slow down the walking speed so that I get longer to read the text next time. Okay. Open. No, it was unlock door with key, open door. This time we get to actually read, read all of the text properly. What's this, Rudy standing motionless over the body of Colonel Dijon? He's holding what appears to be a hypodermic needle. Hey, kid, I'm sorry it came to this, but there was no other choice. I had to protect myself. That old coot lured me up here, and when I wasn't looking, tried to stick me with a hypodermic needle from Dr. Feel's bag. I hate to think what it was in it, but it must have been awful bad. Look what it did to Uncle Henry. He tried to do to me what he did to the others. I found out that my uncle lured us all here so he could kill us. He never had any intention of leaving his money to any of us at all. He only wanted to get rid of us. He's been sneaking around here all night and the lift can go up and he's been murdering us off one by one. He had us all fooled. Let me tell you, he was a lot in a lot better shape than we all thought. Well, it's a shame about everyone else, but at least you and I are still alive. 
I'm sure this night's been real traumatic for you. You go on home in the morning and I'll stay on here a couple more days to tend to things. If you will, I'd like you to contact the authorities in New Orleans and let them know what happened here. The next morning. We leave on the Jesse. Later that same day... An alligator with a flag? Oh no, it's a, it's a paddle boat. <laughs> it was an albino alligator with a flag. As you near the wharf at New Orleans, you consider last night's events. Was Rudy telling you the truth? Could there be more to the story? You'll probably never know. Best to forget it and go on with your life. Maybe the police will find the answers. Poor Lillian, poor everyone. Bad end. <laughs> you should have shot him. Sure <laughs> have shot him. Oh, come on. We did pretty well. Seasoned PI. Four out of five, that's easily better than a pass. Well, yes, but still. Seasoned PI is surely equal to the rank of senior detective. <sighs> Would you like to review your notes? Sure. Okay. Person befriended, incomplete. Took food item from Jeeves's room. So there's one other place to take food. Took useful mm -hmm. item from body of Lillian Wilbur. Lillian has the gun we didn't use. Wilbur has the monocle. So there was perhaps some third kind of inspection item. Uh, it could be on the first body, because the first body we didn't search. We remember to search everyone after, but we didn't search the first body. Yeah, we didn't know we needed to use search as opposed to look at. Mm -hmm. <sighs> People found murdered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's no missing there, so it thinks we found everyone. Mm -hmm. Found secret entrance in everywhere except one place. Objects used more than once. Crackers, diary, oil can, monocle. Presumably the thing that we didn't get from the body. Mm-hmm. Took objects from suitcase of only Lillian, because that was the only suitcase that was ever unlocked. Valuable object taken incomplete. We weren't embracing our inner Nancy Drew and stealing everything. Before we leave. Mm -hmm. Weren't allowed to. Religious article discovered. Bible, yes. Mm -hmm. Items requiring closer scrutiny. Scrutiny, sorry. Almost everything. We only missed one thing. So what was the very first mur murder? Old lady. How could we... Old lady was murdered by pushing herself out of the room after being potentially put to sleep. I think she was just sleeping normally. Yeah, I think she was just pushed out the window. Maybe we could have inspected the window and the potted plant, but we didn't have the, the monocle then yet. It could also be one of the things that we never found. She would have had... If she had a thing... But there was nothing to find before then. Like, she's the first body. You can't use an item from a body to find anything out about her murder unless it's... Because when we return to her room after going downstairs to see her body, to be able to search it, the room's already cleaned. Yeah. So I don't know what that is. People with gambling habits. 
Clarence, Dr. Wilbur, and someone. People guilty of embezzlement, Wilbur and Clarence. Mm -hmm. People with a telltale scent, the Colonel, Lillian, Clarence, and Fifi. So, cigar. Perfume. Not the. What were the others? Cigar. A uh, cigar again. Oh, two cigars, okay. And presumably two, cigars, two, perfumes. two perfumes. Okay. Yeah. People refusing to sell something. Ethel Prince. Yeah, we know that she didn't want to sell the um mm -hmm. the land. People romantically involved. The Colonel with Fifi. Fifi with Jeeves. Fifi with the Colonel. Gloria with Clarence. Yes. People wishing to end an affair. Gloria. Embarrassing medical history, yep. Objects which changed location. The Derringer, the Dagger, and something that we don't know. The ultimate location of most bodies. Failure. That was the basement that we never managed to get into. Hello, doggo. People who struggled physically. Rudy. Struggled? Clarence. Oh, so this is, means getting into a fist fight. Mm-hmm. Fifi. Fifi got into... Oh, he sla she slapped him. An unknown. Yeah. People with a surprising secret unknown. People who use secret... There's another secret passage. Oh, no, this was that we found the... um. We found the cigar butt in the secret passage, but we don't know which of the two cigar people... Like, we never mm. proved who it belonged to. Mm hmm One who murdered the most people. Incomplete. Time of first visit. How long it took... us to get to the attic? Maybe the murderer to go to the attic for the first time? And that's it. Mm. Like, there's no further down. Close. I would have liked to know what the good ending is if you shoot them, but... Some portions of your notes are rather scanty. You can replay the game to gain additional information with hints. Uh, so you want us to go back like two saves and try and go straight to the... That's just one hint, I think. Sorry? Uh, that, oh. No, I mean, that's one save back. And we, we just can... shoot them when he's monologuing. Use. Because I think you have a split second to do it. He, okay, so I'll slow down time to the maximum. Now we move at positively glacial pace. Unlock door with key. Open door. Proceed through door. Can't stab him, and I was tapping, tapping space. Space bar. the opportunity to lower the gun, so it would make sense that you're allowed to shoot them at. Maybe we missed something. It, it may also be that we didn't get up to the the roof quick enough, which is why I said go back two saves. Oh, okay. Yeah, that could be it. That could be it. 
because of we went the other way. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot right. about that. That it gave us the. Like you could hear fighting from upstairs, and I was like, "How can it be upstairs yeah. if we're in the dollhouse?" Yeah. So if we go back to here, and then it was. What was the trigger? At that point, we hadn't found the body, we though, found yet. The body. We look so at we the need notes. a gun. Inspect so if you notes. head out to the, the route with Polly yep. and head notes. straight to the maze. Well, not notes. maze. May, yeah. It, I thought it was a maze when I first, first saw it. So you're just you're, you're pointing out. I'm my, so used to name. saying a hedge maze instead of a hedge okay. garden. Like. And then gun bullet. Slow down time to the maximum so that I don't waste almost any time doing these things. Pick, no, pick up gun, not close enough. Pick up gun. Pick up bullet. And you want to just go straight to the, the, the ceiling now? Sure, we don't need to expect her. It, we've already Wait, done no, that, so... With bullet? Yeah, we already found her body and... Ah, come we on. already got our ranking, so... We aren't the top rank, but we aren't terrible either. Uh, there's a rock in the way. Go. Go, 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 go. You hear scuffling upstairs. So we had two scuffling upstairs last time. Yeah. And then we went everywhere else before we went to the attic <laughs> as well, so... <laughs> We were trying to find another body. Uh-huh. Okay, and then... You can hear the grandfather clock. You hear more scuffling. Oh, the door is still open. That's different. Oh no, Colonel Dijon and Rudy are in the midst of a fierce struggle. You see a hypodermic needle between them and it's impossible to tell which of the two men is the aggressor. This is indeed a dangerous situation. Who do we shoot, chat? Hmm? Miss Mori? I mean, Rudy, Rudy was alive and it was a bad end, so Rudy dies. Shoot Rudy. Lock it in. Go for it. Please stop walking towards me. Stop it. Uh, thank you, young lady, Laura. That was some mighty fine shooting for a gal. I guess I owes you my life, don't I? Why, my nephew was trying to kill me with poison in one of Wilbur's hypodermic needles. Oh, it's terrible what's been happening here tonight. I invite everyone here to tell my will, and they end up killing each other over it. Truthfully, I was keeping my eye on everyone in the house tonight, or so I thought. I didn't see any of the murderers. It wasn't until I met Rudy in my bedroom that he told me what had happened. I couldn't believe it. He told me that my niece, Lillian, had finally gone totally berserk and out of a crazy jealousy was killing everyone that she thought had gotten between her and me. We only had one bullet door at Nku. 
She managed to just about murder everyone till she attacked Rudy with my Derringer. Rudy managed to wrestle the gun from her in self-defense and killed her instead. My nephew, seeing as how everyone else was already dead, decided to finish the job by killing me with a hypodermic needle and say I died of a heart attack induced by the terrible deeds that my niece had done. I can't stand much more of this, Laura. Please find Celie and tell her to fire one of the signal rockets that we use to summon help in emergencies. I mean, we shot the survivor- well, we actually let the survivor go last time. Okay, the next morning... The police come. We only come. wounded him, we didn't kill him. I somehow knew this day would come. You've been a loyal servant for many years, silly. You and Beauregard and Blaze. Oh no, and Beauregard and Blaze would trust you. I've decided to give all my money to you, as long as you take care of the animals for the rest of their lives. Of course, sir. I can't think of nothing else I'd rather do. Thank you, sir. You know Beauregard. Oh, sorry. You know Beauregard. People are funny creatures. They're greedy, they're rude, they're selfish. That's why we live way out here to get away from them. But we couldn't get away from them completely, could we, boy? No, not completely, but everything will be okay now. Good end. And we might get a slightly worse rank because we didn't inspect the girl's body. No. Nah. Still season PI. Yay. And we can look at the notes to see if that I changed. feel a little bit higher because we um we Got found out who did most of the murders through the okay. dialogue. Let's see. So that's the same. We still didn't have the food item. We still didn't have the other useful item. This is the same. We still don't know the secret entrances. We still don't know the other item. That's the same. Valuable objects is same. Bible is same. I think that's the same. 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 The murder one is the one that we expect mm -hmm. to possibly change. Oh. People who use secret passages? Is that maybe? I forget. And here we go. The one who murdered yeah. the most people. Lillian. Mm-hmm. And then we're done. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Um, bit of discussion? So, the having to revisit absolutely everywhere you've already been every time is a bit obnoxious, I think, but that's sort of also a bit standard for these games. It just was especially obnoxious for this because you've got so many time changes. Otherwise, I liked it. You? I, I, I enjoyed it. I'm... I have to admit I'm not particularly fond of the time changes and then when you just go to the next room because you're doing your rounds, time changes again, it's like, oh! I wanted to check everywhere else! Like, I didn't mean for time to pass, oh no, no, it's another act and we just didn't get anything done this act because we would just happen to go into the right places at the right time. Yeah, if you want to get full points, you're going to have to like write down what things are what triggers and avoid them until you've done everything else. Yeah. I do want to know though, if we did, um, if we did soft luck ourselves by just giving the dog the bone immediately. You, you think there's some clue hidden in the doghouse at some stage? I, I think that we just went, oh, it's a bone, give to dog immediately, might have, uh, might have been a mistake. I'm wondering what we feed the horse. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Beauregard, bone. Beauregard, bone, Beauregard, bone. Feed when in doghouse, so he leaves doghouse. 
So you're supposed to give it to him when it's in the doghouse because then he leaves his doghouse. Inside the doghouse is a necklace. You give the necklace to the cook. That allows you to enter her house. Inside her house is a carrot that you feed the horse. The horse. That gets us the lantern that lets us put it in the well? Yeah. And what is in the well? Um... Presumably the body. The bodies or maybe the hidden entrance to the basement or whatever? Who knows? Okay. Didn't go that far. Considering just how old this is, I think it's... It's quite cool. The the fact that yeah. it's not deterministic. Like a lot of the point and click games, even the ones that come after this will be point that will be deterministic. Like you play Grim Fandango. Game I love. Game that I think's fantastic writing, fantastic so many things, but once you know the solutions, there's no there's like there's no replayability of the first part of the story once you've ever played the first part of the story. And admittedly, searching everywhere isn't the best replayability, but it's at least something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you've had a great day. A um, we'll catch catch you all next time, I guess. Also, we never did use that second key. No. No. Yeah, we've got. Yeah, we'll, we'll, never... we'll never know where that went. We'll never know. See you, YouTube.